Hello everybody and welcome back to another board game hour. Today we are playing Rat Fink and we have Dawson here with uh, Cohort Games. Hello, hello, and we have Winter, Jericho, and John playing with us today as well. Hey, so before we get started, Dawson, did you want to talk a little bit about uh, your company and how it all got started and the vision? Sure. Uh, so our company is called Cohort 8 Games, the Roman numeral 8. Um, originally, we started, we were doing a lot of kind of uh, hex map and soldiers and guys on a map kind of uh, work. Um, so that's kind of where that name kind of came from. Also, one of my collaborators and co-designers on some of the games we're working on, his name is Jeff Hewitt. And his last name means eight in French. And so there's this crazy story about the eighth cohort was when they found some ruins stamped on a rock and, you know, anyway, so somehow cohort eight came about. I don't know. And we kept it, <laughs> even though we're not really doing guys on a map games. At the moment. Um, so our, our initial game that we started with is this game, Ratfink, Scurry and Scamper. And it's based on kind of house rules, some twisted house rules off of a very old 1700s uh, card variant called Knockout Whist which Wist has tons of different variants, uh, some which eventually led to the game Spades, if people are familiar with Spades. Um, so it is a trick-taking game at the core. Um, some of the things that set it apart uh, are that it has different card order that can change, as well as the trump can change throughout the game. Um, and originally it was a game of elimination, but we changed that to keep, make sure everybody stays in play the whole time, which is more fun for everybody. Mm -hmm. um, and. Yeah, so that's kind of where that came about. We started the core game, the Knockout Wist House Rule game, was one we played in college for for years and years, just with the normal playing deck of cards. And my friend and I got together and we were like, how can we add more actual game to this to make it more interesting for gamers to play instead right. of just some card game rules? And so that's where the scurry and scamper comes from. And so we added the idea of these action cards that you'll all have. Uh, the scurry cards are pre-hand actions that let you try to manipulate the hand in your favor to make it easier for you to maybe win some tricks. Mm -hmm. um, and then we play the trick hand out, and then everyone gets to play the scamper cards, and those are post-hand actions that help you mitigate the outcome if you just had a total bust hand. Um, so it kind of really adds some chaos. Somebody called this uh, flux or spades meets flux. I guess was kind of a comparison. Yeah, I can see um, that. I love flux. So it's it's got some fun. Uh, we tried to not make it too heavy on the take that. There is some minor take that, uh, but in most cases, if it's anything that's seriously take that, you actually have to recompense the other player that you're playing the take that against. So it kind of balances itself out. Um, so no one's really felt just like ganged up on or anything. I don't like games where that happens, right? So. There is some kind of humorous take that. I mean, we're all a bunch of rats running around trying to steal everybody's cheese, right? So, mm -hmm. um, <laughs> but uh, it's all done in a playful kind of manner. So it's a little bit right. of a chaotic trick-taking game. We love good chaos here at Shenanigans, so <laughs> Lots of I am all for it. <laughs> all for it. Chaos. Speaking of which, this is what the game looks like. This is on Tabletop Simulator, everybody. So um, this is the digital version of it, but the goal is to make a physical board game to uh, be shipped over to your home. Um, how long have we been working on Rat Fink, Dawson? Uh, we've been working on it for about five years now. We've demoed it at dozens of game cons over that period of time up until like a year and a half ago. Um, in fact, we had a, a big con scheduled with people already signed up to demo the game. And the, the week before, that's when everything locked down. So that was the last time we were out at cons. But we have had this out. Lots of people have played. Uh, we've been to a bunch of cons in the Pacific Northwest, everything from uh, Evergreen Tabletop uh, or to Evergreen Comic Con up in Seattle and mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Rose City Comic Con here in Portland for about four or five years now. Um, so yeah, we've been demoing it all over the place. Really happy with it. Feels really balanced. So we're ready to release it. It would have been released this year, except for all the craziness with shipping. So we're trying to hold off till next year to see if it calms down a little bit. So and smart, right? Like yeah. before you solidify a date, <laughs> and then at least at least it happened before you solidified a, a date, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So I do have a few footnotes here about the game. Um, but did you want me to go through that first, or did you want to go into how to play your setup? 
However, however you want to do it. Let's see. Let's go through the how to play first, and maybe some of these will come up as we go. Okay. So I can do that. So, uh, yeah, so as I was saying, Rackthink is at the core. It's a trick-taking game. Has everyone played trick-taking games? So I should start with that, because that's kind of... <laughs> I Winter, have. Jericho, I have. John. Like... What kind of game? Maybe? Trick-taking? Yes? No? Maybe? I have no Maybe? Clue. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's fine. What's, what's interesting is it kind of depends on where you grew up. Uh, a lot of times when we've been at cons, if players are from the Midwest, they play a lot of trick-taking games in the Midwest. Other places, people are like, what's a trick-taking game, right? So <laughs> I never I never want to make that assumption when I'm, when I'm teaching a game. So in a, in a basic trick-taking game, we have a deck of playing cards here. We have, mm -hmm. um, let me just take some cards here so I can. We have four suits, which are mm -hmm. cheese, uh, is this? traps, uh, claws, and swords. So we have four suits here. Uh, other than that, it's a standard playing card deck. Uh, the cards go two through ten, and then jack, queen, king, and ace. Ace is always high in this deck. So we just have custom theme to better suit the game that's the only thing you don't really need to worry about it other than that so there are four suits um two through ace in a trick-taking game everyone would have some cards and somebody would would lead the cards and if you have a, a card in the suit then you would have to follow suit so if i led mm -hmm. with an eight of claws then angie would have to play claws if she had it um, but if John was out of claws, he could play, say, a trap, and if traps happen to be the trump suit, then that would win the trick. Um, what's different in Ratfink is we're going to have different card order. Let me flip one of these up, because that would make better sense here. Uh, let's see. Let's search here. I do have to say I love all the color in this game. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey Dawson, who happens yes. to be the artist for this game? So I am the artist. So we hired um, um, Alicia um, Bulkman to do the rats. So she drew the actual rat characters, and mm -hmm. all the rest of the art is mine. And it looks like these are. This is vector, right? Yeah, it's all vector art. Vector art. Nice, nice. Look at the detail on the salami. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. I, uh, give me, give me. <laughs> Salami. I love it. I'm very hungry looking at this game. Okay. Good. So, you focus and then I'll win. So, for example, here, if you if you okay. look up here, we have low cheese. So, if that was the, the Trump call for the round, the low is the card order, and it refers to all suits. So, it means the lowest card played in whatever suit would win. And then, in this case, the trump suit would be cheese. So if these were the cards played, the eight would be winning because it's the lowest card in the suit that was led. So the king wouldn't win this trick. And in this case, if the trump was cheese, this traps card that John played would basically have no effect. It would just be like he had nothing better to play, so he just scratched with the card. In mm -hmm. which case, the eight would win the trick. However, if somebody else came along around the table why these cards not going in my hand? Come on. Da, da, da. There we go. So let's say that uh, Jericho played this two of cheese. Ooh, the two cheese. of cheese. Now, you would only be able to play this if you did not have claws, since that was the suit that was led in your hand. If you had claws, you're forced to play claws. If you're out of claws, you have the option of playing whatever this trump suit is. Mm -hmm. So that would be any cheese card. In this case... The Two of Cheese is actually a special card in this game. It is the ultimate trump card. It actually is whatever the trump suit is. So if instead of low cheese we had high traps, it literally becomes a trap. So you have to consider it to be whatever this trump suit currently is. It's okay. magical. So that means you would not play it on a cheese trick unless you were out of cheese and choosing to play it as a trap. Does that make sense? 
That's yeah. why it has all of the symbols on it, too, to try and remind you. Um, also, if you led the Two of Cheese, everyone else would have to follow suit with whatever the current Trump suit is. And it's going to win no matter what. It's the ultimate Trump. So if it's high, it's higher than the Ace. If it's low, it's lower than the Two. It's just, it's going to win if there's a Trump suit. I like how the mouse has a crown. Right. So in, in this case, if the Trump was this call, high, uh, let me see, yeah, high traps, then currently John John would be be winning with his queen yeah. up until Jericho played the two, and then that no. would be the queen. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just be around one so I can have one. So that's a basic game over. <laughs> that's a basic trick taking game. So that's one trick. So every time we play a trick, somebody's going to lead a card. We all follow suit if we have it. If we're out of the suit led, you have the option of playing the trump suit if you have a trump card, and then. We'll evaluate whichever is the best card, depending on if it's a high or low card order. Whoever wins the trick gets a piece of cheese. Cheese. I love right? cheese. And cheese. so this, uh, the cheese comes right out here to your unstashed portion, which is during the hand. So any cheese that you win, or if other players are forced to pay you cheese for certain reasons, which we'll see in a minute, all that cheese comes out here in this unstashed area of your player board, which will be important to explain. Um, so that's a basic trick. Now let's get into some of the craziness that happens. So almost ditch all these. Dun, dun, dun. So we will also have these scurry and scamper cards. So these are the action cards. So let me cover some scurry cards here first. So scurry and scamper. Uh, like... You mean a basic Saturday afternoon? <laughs> Okay. We have some friends in chat, by the way. Okay. Hello, Jekka. Nice to see you. Hope you enjoy the stream. <laughs> and we have uh, Marletta rooting for John. The game has not even started yet. And we have a, <laughs> yeah. have a cheerleader. Team John. Team John, yeah. Well, just so you know, even though I'm the designer, I only win about 20% of the time. So I don't have some crazy Welcome advantage to this game. game. So it's, it's fair game for anybody. So... We're all going to have a hand of these uh, cards to start. We'll have two scurry cards and two scamper cards. And then that'll change throughout the game, uh, which I'll cover here. But uh, we'll have a hand of cards dealt. We'll figure out what the trump suit is. For the first hand, we're just going to randomize that. Um, every round after that, whoever is the dealer, whoever has the dealer at, will get to pick the trump suit based on their hand. So it's a bit of an advantage to you. Um, but we'll just say that we've got some cards. Let's go with its low cheese right now at the moment. And now everybody gets to go around and play one scurry card. And your option is to play one of these scurry cards for its effect, or you can discard any number of scurry or scamper cards to their discard piles, and then draw back up from either deck. So you can always draw back from either one, however you wish to strategize. Um, or you can pass. So maybe you like the current call and you want to hold on to your action cards. That's always an option too. But we all get one chance to play one scurry card. So I'll go over a couple of these here. For example, this one sitting over here by John, uh, Indigo Ratoya. <laughs> um, choose a player to discard their hand of cards. They draw a new hand from the deck, but you have to pay them one cheese for doing that attack against them. And of course, you have to actually use the appropriate Princess Bride voice when reading this card. My name is Indigo Ratoya. You stole my cheese. Prepare to discard. Right? So there you go. Can I target myself? <laughs> uh, no, unfortunately, you cannot target yourself. <laughs> okay. Such a meta game question, love it. I know already. Mm. Come with the meta. Um, <laughs> you don't really need to worry about the icons. The icons are there to they supplement the text. Um, also, when you play this in person, when these cards are fanned in your hand, you can see that left column easier in your hand normally. So oh. it's kind of make it easier for you to quickly see what your cards do without having to look at the text. Without um, pulling also, out the card, right? yeah, and also the icons in the upper left corner just kind of give you an idea of what the category of the card is. Um, so, like, the one with the cards up here means it's going to have something to do with your playing card hand. Uh, mm -hmm. The star means it's going to affect the trump call somehow. Uh, there's ones that will have cheese that's going to get you cheese, um, etc. So, they don't you don't really need to worry about the icons too much, other than they're just to help give you some clue information, uh, which will make sense as we play the game a little bit more. Uh, so, for example, this one, uh, the big flip. This lets you keep, you have to keep the same Trump suit, but you get to swap that card order. 
right? So let's say, for example, you've got a bunch of high cards like aces, kings, and queens in your hand, and someone calls this awful low cheese call, right? That's just horrible for your hand. Well, if you play this big flip card, it stays cheese, but you get to come in here and pull out this card instead, and now it changes to high cheese. So now the card order is high, so all those other tricks that get played, the high cards are going to win. That's going to be better in general for your hand. Right? In Does the that event make of a, sense? In the event of a two, would the two still win? Um, the two of cheese wins no matter what, if there is okay. trump, yes. Okay. But it just means in general, high cards are going to win Yeah, most, uh, okay. most trick face-offs or whatever you want to call it. Um, lights on is another way to do that, but you have to shuffle the trump deck and randomly pick two and between that pick a new one so it's not, you don't have as much control over it, but it's kind of a desperation move. If somebody calls like traps and you have no traps, you're like, anything's going to be better than that. Mm. Um, there's cards like the cheese rogue here. Uh, it lets you steal that nice, powerful two of cheese from someone else. Um, however, you have to give or discard one cheese and one random card in exchange. So if you're going to try and do this, you can ask and say, hey, does anybody have the two of cheese? If somebody does, you have to pay them a cheese, and they get to take one of your cards blindly uh, in exchange. Hmm. Um, so it's kind of an offset. Um, if it's in the deck, that's what these little kind of buttons here are next to your player board. These are just to help facilitate things. So, for example, if somebody says, we don't have the two of cheese, I can click this find the two of cheese button, and it'll grab it right out of the deck for me. So I don't have to like, spend time finding it automated um that's cool and then I, and then i can put that in my hand but then i still would have to discard a cheese back to the supply right so it's you're always gonna have to discard a cheese and then somebody next to you randomly takes one of your other cards to discard as well so it's you're always going to lose a card and a cheese if you play this card um that's a nice feature of tabletopia do i have a button like that when we play the physical copy too <laughs> no unfortunately no um However, you have, you have to watch out because we've seen this happen. If somebody plays the cheese rogue and is all happy that they just stole the two of cheese, somebody after you can play the great swirl, which flushes Trump down the toilet. And if they flush Trump, then we get this happening, which is high no Trump. So if there is no Trump suit, the two of cheese loses any power because there's no Trump suit to associate it with. It just becomes a lowly two of cheese. And this means that the highest card in whatever suit lead wins tricks and there's no trump suit to power anything. so yeah and there are mm -hmm. 22 unique scurry cards and 22 unique scamper cards so i'm not going to cover everything um they're pretty straightforward usually there aren't too many questions about them if you do have a question please just let me know as we're playing the game if you have a question about a card i will do my best to answer that okay so those are the scurry cards so everyone will get a chance to play one of those. It might alter the trump call, make it better for you to win tricks. Then we play the trick handout. Let's say that... Uh, let's see. I'll, I'll leave it like this. So I've got two cheese. And I'll put one in here. Okay. So then after that, we all get to play scamper cards. But first, we notice if anybody fails to take a trick, so you did not earn any cheese during that hand, you're going to get stuck with a fink. <gasps> So in this example, I took two cheese, but Angie failed to take any cheese that hand, so she gets stuck with a fink. And notice it's on this orange no cheese side, and that's because it means she earned that from having a lack of cheese. But that also means if she's able to gain any cheese still during this round, that will get rid of this fink, because now she would have cheese. So now we'll get into some scamper cards and some of the fun that they do. So these are to mitigate the outcome of the trick-taking hand when you're like, I just had a horrible hand. So now we can do stuff like some of these. So for example, the charcuterie card, uh, if you earn no cheese this round, it gains you just two cheese. If you gained any amount of cheese, you'll still gain one bonus cheese, right? So that just straight up gets you some cheese. That would solve Angie's problem. However, a better card for to play would be the Dirty Rat here, which is, you know, appropriate for this game. And she can steal two cheese from another player, which would probably be me. So she would choose to steal, steal two cheese from me. And anytime you steal cheese, it comes from this outer unstashed portion first. But then it can move into your stash in here if you do not have a red fink guarding the door of your stash pad, which I'll get into here in a second. So... 
So currently, this cheese would be fair game. So if I had only had one cheese out here, she would steal this one cheese from me. And now that I have no cheese out here, I would now earn a no cheese fink. And then she would still get to reach into my stash and get the second cheese. Clever. I see. And now that she has cheese, that gets rid of the fink for her. Because she now has cheese from this round. Any question on that? I know it's a little... Some finicky ideas going on here, but... Finicky? So we have to have a cheese in the outer square to get the... To avoid the fink. That is correct. Regardless of if we have any on the inside? That is correct. This is this okay. outer section is all just the current hand. This is only cares about the current hand. Um, and the and the ultimate game of the game is to at the end of the at the end of the game to have the fewest fakes. That's what your main goal is. Um, if there's a tie, if there's a tie for the fewest fakes, then the most cheese becomes the nice next tiebreaker. And the third thing after that is the cheesecake, which I'll cover here in a second. Okay, um, uh, so we also have cards uh, like claws here. You'll notice it has a claw symbol in the upper left corner. That means that it is an attack card. There are also several cards that have the shield icon. You can always block any attack with any shield card. However, some of the shield cards are actually like paired up with attacks. So if you happen to play the correct shield that goes with a specific attack, you get a bonus cheese out of the deal. So just read the text on them. Nice. It should be pretty clear. Um, but any shield can block any attack. It's just some of them can gain you a little bit bonus if you pair up the right one. So, for example, let's say that uh, John comes along and he's like, well, enough of this. I'm going to play this Claws card. So all of us would gain a red attack fink, and red attack finks immediately flip over and go to the door of your stash pad. However, uh, Jericho would have, uh, let's say, the dog whistle. So they'd be able to play the dog whistle, and that would block it. And, and, a, and also, since the dog whistle actually is paired with the Claws card... They would also get a cheese, so Jericho would get a cheese out here. Yummy. Just by blocking that attack. Also, note when you block an attack, that does not count as your scamper turn. So you would discard that and draw a new card, and you would still be able to do your scamper turn, assuming it hadn't already gone around the, the circle. Does that make sense? So you're always allowed to block attacks, and it's like an out of turn action. Um, it doesn't count as your turn. So this clause would affect everybody that did not have a shield card. So Angie would get one, and yeah, Winter would get one, assuming Winter didn't have a shield. That's it. Um, then we get to the last idea here, which a lot some of the scamper cards let you get rid of things. So this is where this gets important. So any of these no no cheese finks, the orange ones out here, and you're unstashed, they're easy to get rid of just by getting cheese. So any of these cards that get you cheese. Sometimes other players have to pay you cheese. If they have to give you cheese during this current hand, and you now have a cheese out there, that would get rid of the fink for you. However, if at the end of the hand, if you are unable to get rid of that fink, uh, we all hit this. Uh, well, first we'll figure out who the dealer is. So the dealer is going to be whoever has the most unstashed cheese from this current round. If there's a tie, we'll cut the deck for high card, which I'll go over that in a second. We'll determine who the dealer is. The dealer then gains, gains one of these cheesecake tokens, which there's seven different cheesecake tokens. Um, and this is kind of a third level tiebreaker. We've had this happen in enough games that we had to add it. Um, so the, the primary win is fewest finks. If there's a tie, whoever has the most cheese left in their stash. If there's still a tie, whoever has the fewest cheesecake tokens. And the, the reason fewest. for that is it means that you didn't have the advantage of being the dealer and picking the trump as often. Right, so if you're if you're the dealer too much and have a bunch of cheesecake, it's kind of like you were too much of a greedy rat. So sorry, you don't win the tiebreaker. So <laughs> nice. Michelle would just like to add that the cards are super cute and adorable. Thank you. <laughs> and Jeremiah says, "Steal the cheese, no refunds." Yeah, definitely. <laughs> um, so, for example, this Fink Five Fo Fum card here uh, it would let you discard a Fink. So this is now how you get rid of red Finks. Uh, that are guarding your door, your stash pad. So it's something to think about, too. So as long as you have one red fink here, that protects any cheese you have in your stash from any theft. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, keep in mind that the game win condition is to have the fewest fakes overall. 
And as the game progresses, uh, more players are going to be gaining things because we deal fewer cards every round. That's what this maze tracker card is showing. So we're going to start at seven cards. The next round is going to be six, then five, four, three, and two for the final hand. So there's not going to be enough tricks to go around, so people are going to be getting things. Um, Got it. So you're going to kind of want to pay attention to that and not wait too long to try and get rid of them, because then you'll run out of time. Uh, most cards that let you get rid of a think you can only get rid of one per round. There are a few cards in the deck that will let you get rid of up to two in a, in a turn, uh, but that's the max you can get rid of in a turn. So this Fink Five Foam card, uh, I would be able to discard this red Fink. That's my only way to do it, because this card lets me discard a Fink. However, if my stash is now unprotected, which it is, I would then have to pay up to two cheese from it, if I had enough two, two cheese, to the player on my left. So then Angie would get cheese out of my stash from me getting rid of this Fink. <laughs> More cheese, the better. Exactly. Um, so there are a bunch of cards that say things like pay a cheese or discard a cheese or pay cheese to the opponent next to you. You have to have that cheese available to you before you can play that card. And anytime you're paying cheese, it comes out of your stash, not out of your unstashed out here. So you're not going to gain a new fink by playing one of these cards that has to pay cheese to somebody. So, But you have to have enough in your stash to be able to activate the card. Any Any questions about that? Can you have more than one cheese unstashed in the little oh, yeah. triangle in front? Yeah, they, okay. they stack. Yeah, you could have five, six, seven, whatever. It's per hand you win, or it's per, per hand. Uh, trick you win. Yeah, per trick. But yeah. also people could have to pay you cheese, too, to activate cards. That happens. Um, so. Uh, let's see. How about okay. chat? Does chat have any questions? Looks like chat's all good. Okay, so I will deal out some cards here. So I'm acting as dealer for the first round. Uh, so let's see, we need to give, what is it? We're at seven, right? Who's who's playing? We've got red, right? Um, green. Got green right here. Blue. blue. Purple. That tripped me up so bad. Did it trip you up or did it trick you up? It tripped me up for a second. <laughs> I was drawing double cards because I was like right next to each other. I was like, what is happening? You're dumb. That's what's happening. Ah, okay. I was wondering when these would come. Got it. Yeah, so we're all going to start with two of each. Um, and then from then on... Anytime you play, you're going to draw a new one, but you can choose which pile you wish to draw from. So if you play a scurry, you can then draw a replacement from the scamper deck or vice versa. So it's just however you want to strategize if you want to go for prehand or posthand or mix it up. Are the scurry and scamper cards all unique? Yes, they are all unique. Uh, well, there's okay, so there's 22 unique in each deck, and then there's some of them that are duplicated. Okay. Some, mm. And then they, they have a, a little two card icon in the upper right corner. If Thank there's you. More than one copy of it in the deck. Otherwise, everything's a single one off. Okay. Thank um, you. And I should not be seeing cards. Let me see here. Something's weird here. Uh, That's weird. That's weird. Am I the only one seeing something weird here? Oh, um, someone's it looks cards like your are backs flipped. are duplicated. Yeah, your backs are duplicated. So the back of your card, it's defaulting to the top of the cheese. But it's uh, okay. The front, the front is fine. So just, yeah, it just is what it is. Uh, I can fix that here. Everybody just discard your scurry and scamper cards real quick. I had to, like, tweak the deck recently, and I don't know why it was doing that. So yeah, blue goes on the left yes. and red on the right. And and we only get to play one of either or both, I'm sorry. Yeah, so there'll be a scurry phase first, we all get to play okay. one, and then we'll play the trick hand out, and then there'll and be then a play the scamper. scamper. Got it. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that was the only thing I was maybe a little, little fuzzy yeah. on. Okay, let's see. I don't know why it's showing that. It should be... Okay. 
see here. Custom work package. Should be using the back image. Unique packs. I think that was the problem. Let me fix this here. I hear a lot of typing. Family wants hi. to okay. say hi. Hello. <laughs> Hello. They just came in the door. <laughs> Hello, family. Here, let's try this again. Let's see if I take two. two. Is that better now? Try it. You can just hover over the deck and hit the number two. To draw mm -hmm. two from one and then two from the other. Two and two. There yeah, we go. That's better. That's better. You'll have to teach me how you did that. <laughs> it's because I, I just had to make a bunch of changes to the deck and I forgot to check the box on that. So, okay. So we're good on that. And then for this first round, uh, we're going to shuffle the Trump deck and we're going to have a random Trump. So it is going to be high claws. Ooh. For this first round. So that means high order is good for all suits. So high in club in claws, swords, traps, cheese is gonna be good. And then claws just happens to be the trump suit. So if you're out of whatever suit gets led, you have the option of playing a claws card to try and win a trick. Um, but you always have to follow suit if you have it. Um, and then we always go left of the dealer. So Angie would start since I'm acting as dealer. So first we get to do a scurry phase though, if you wish. And Angie doesn't have to play on Trump, correct? She can like no, you do not have to. Cheese. Yeah, and you do not have to lead Trump, and you don't. You're not forced. You only have to. You're only forced to follow, right? So you yeah. can lead whatever mm -hmm. you want anytime. Uh, Trump does not have to be bled, unlike other suits. So yes, you could lead with Trump if you wanted. Normally, you, you like want to hold on to your Trump to ambush tricks when you're out of that suit. But hey, it's up to you. Yes, you can try and suck Trump if you think you have it all to run the table. <laughs> that is a very appropriate dirty rat thing to do. This is a rat game, so. It is called Rat Pink. <laughs> so I'm just uh, choosing a card to put down right now? Uh, a blue scurry Ooh. card. So this is a the scurry, scurry phase now. So I see this. Right. You, you can either play one scurry card for its action, or you could discard any number of scurry and scamper cards to draw up a new number of scurry and scamper cards, or you can pass. That is always your choice. What would be the strategy in discarding? Um, maybe if you've got some cards where you're just like, ah, I don't want to hold on to a shield or I don't want to hold on to something that ditches my hand. I want something more action, you know, oriented. Okay. Um, maybe trying to get yourself an option, maybe to get rid of Finks later on and you need to get rid of a, a discard of Fink card, something like that. Um, that could be a reason to discard. Sure. I don't, I don't trust you, Dawson. I'm going to play... <laughs> Indigo Ratoya. Uh -oh. My name is Indigo Ratoya. You stole my cheese. Prepare to discard. Uh, okay, so you have to pay me. A... Oh, but you can't play that right off the bat because you have to have a cheese to be able to play it. Oh, I do have a cheese. That's right. I do need a cheese. That's correct. Yeah. I'll take that back. <laughs> nice. Try. It was just. It's so. It's so I know. tempting. It is very tempting, but fortunately, the first hand you can't do that to me. <laughs> How do I know if it requires a cheese to play? It'll it'll tell you like you have to pay a cheese or give oh, okay. give a player yeah. a cheese. Oh, give just, them just a cheese. Tax. Got it. Right. I guess we could play this. I like musical chairs. It's a very preschool teachery thing to do. So you pick <laughs> you pick whether you want it to go left or right. I want your hand, so let's go left. Okay, so everybody click the <laughs> click the drop hand button in the little action space next to you. That makes it easy to do. Okay, and now um, hover over the hand that's to your right, and seven. hit the and hit the number seven, and it'll pick those cards up into your hand. Wait, uh, we're drawing. We're we're passing to left or right? Sorry, it's going left. So you're gonna going left. So I'm taking pick from, cards. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So then, 
Hold on. So Jericho would hover over John's cards. Did I drop it correctly? I think so. Yeah, right here. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's yours. Yep. And then I pick up from the left, you were saying? Uh, you would pick or, up from the right. From the right. So from where right. was your right? Yeah. Uh, I see so John is to your right, Jericho. Over here. I'm so sad that you played that. Oh my god. <laughs> my head hurts. I can't see anything. Uh. And Winter, you would be picking up Jericho's hand. Yeah, I'm attempting to do that. <laughs> Oh, wait, you just you took a... Can you tell no, 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 no. no, no, no. So the, the cards no, no, no. on the board here. Stop. Over here. <laughs> just hover over the cards on the board and hit the number seven, and it'll I draw them up into your hand. So this is this is mine. Oh, right here. Yeah. And well, on the, on the board, right yeah. here. So on this Jer board. Um, yeah, Jer correct. Jericho hovers over this and hits seven. Pick, pick seven off there. Hit seven. Yep, it'll okay. pick them up in your hand. There, there you go, go, there you go. There you go. There you go. Okay. Apologies. No worries. This that's is what, my to... second, third time with <laughs> TTS, so... Well, that's why we've added these buttons, too, because it makes us move a lot faster. Oh, so my. It's, otherwise, it's a giant pain to pass cards around. Okay. What um, is... Yeah, I know. That was horrible of you, Angie. Oh, and what now Angie gets, to, Angie gets to draw a replacement, either Scurry or Scamper, your choice. So even though you played that's a Scurry... Cool. You could draw a new scamper if you wanted, or you could draw a discovery, whatever. I believe in balance. Okay, there you take, go. That's your I'll choice. Take one. <laughs> so th these used to be all together in one deck, and we like to play a lot better now that you can strategize better pre or post hand whenever you want. So, mm -hmm. so now it's to John. So John, you can play a blue scurry card if you wish. Bam, cheese, please. Bam. Very nice. Take one cheese from the supply cheese card. And then oh, you I get see. A It'll save card. from supply. Yeah. If it's from supply, got it. Correct. Otherwise, cheese it's curds, really yum. yum. Okay, and now uh, I believe it is to Jericho. Is that correct? So, if you have a blue scurry card you wish to play for its effect, you may do so. And they don't have to, right? They don't have to. You can also discard some cards if you just want to draw some new ones, or you can pass. So, if you're like, I'm happy with how things are, or whatever. All right, I'm trying to read over my scary cards. I'm sorry. No, no, no worries. No worries. No, no rush. I, yeah, that's part of the problem with they're all being unique. It, it takes a little bit mm -hmm. for people to get up to speed on the cards, but that's okay. Once you know the cards, it gets to be a lot of fun. Angie, you didn't organize your hand, you savage! <laughs> oh, goodness, I did organize my hand. Oh, when it when it discarded it, I guess it all uh, so yeah, flubbed them all up. <laughs> wow. I'm like I absolutely did. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good. Make sure I'm not playing with a psychopath. Oh. Well, no guarantees there. Okay, fair enough. No promises. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I just, are you saying I'm a psychopath if I don't organize my hand? How do you play trick taking yeah. games? <laughs> yeah, a little bit. <laughs> uh, w one last thing I should mention: some of the scurry cards have a red little arrow indicator on the left side. And what mm -hmm. that means is it's like an ongoing effect for the whole hand. So oh. if you're going to play one of those, just put it down next to your stash board so we can keep track that you've got that ongoing effect going on. Um, so there are some that, there are a few cards that have that. So I should have mentioned that. So sorry. So if we are playing those, where would we put those? Just put it down like next to your stash board here or something. So we know that you're, that's ongoing for the rest of the hand. Yeah. Like the oh, wrong nice. thing. Is that the one you're playing? Yeah. yeah I, got it. I got it. I like to zoom in and it. No worries. Oh, oh nice. Cheese. Out of PTS. cheese free cheese. This is a good one. So if you've played spades, this is essentially Jericho is claiming they are trying to go for a, a nil bid. So this card says if you take no cheese this hand, instead of getting a fink, uh, before you get to the scamper phase, you can choose one, either gain three cheese or discard a fink. Mm. So it's kind of a nice uh, nice little power play there. And now you can choose a replacement card from either the Scurry or the Scamper decks. Ah, we have another designer in the chat. Ario from uh, Dino Dodge came, came in to say hello and says this looks really cool and wants to know if this is on Kickstarter yet. 
Uh, not yet, but it will be. We're putting our campaign together probably for early next year sometime. We're just previewing. Yep. <laughs> Keep an eye out, though, if you'd like to learn more about Ratfink and all these cool games coming out. I highly suggest uh, dropping by some of the social media. Um, I just dropped the exclamation collab um, bot command. The Twitter, the Facebook page, and the website should um, come up after that. And um, you can follow all of those to get updates yeah, on that. And if anybody wants to play, let me know. I'm happy to run games on TTS anytime. So. Um, okay, so everybody, Jericho is trying to go nil, so they are trying to avoid taking any tricks this this hand. <laughs> um, and now it is to winter, I believe. And I have to look specifically just for blue cards, yeah? Correct, yeah, correct. this is the scurry face, that is correct. And if it helps you to remember, if you look at the bottom of the cards, the scurry card has the, the icon on the on the left, and then the hand of tricks in the on the right. So that's showing that the scurry happens before the hand of tricks, and then the scamper cards mm -hmm. show the hand of tricks on the left side, meaning we already finished the hand of tricks, and then the scamper happens. So. Yeah. I honestly am fine with my cards and would like them for that's later, fine. so that's totally I would also pass. like to do the same thing. You can pass. Okay, pass. and now I am the last since I was dealer, so I get a chance to play if I want. Uh, I will also pass. Okay, so now right. Angie, you get to lead off the trick taking. Trick phase. Hmm. Oh, why do you have three cheese sitting out here? I think that was because uh, uh, you were doing it during your demo. That was during the demo. I'm like, uh, why is I can keep she, that? Why is she already <laughs> loaded with cheese? Okay. Oh. Okay. <laughs> a little sneaky. Oh, and I don't uh, There's one over either. here as well. Did did they get one from Oh, I, I had gotten also... one from one of my cards. That's right. Okay. So we Okay, now we're good. Go... You look good now. Okay. Okay, so that was the that was the scurry phase. We all got to play a scurry card if we wished. Now Angie gets to lead off the trick taking. Okay, so she's leading with the eight of swords. So John, if you have swords, you have to follow suit with swords. And the card order is high, so the highest card is going to win. And you have to play swords if you have it. If I have it. If you have it. Wow. No sword, so he is trumping right off the bat. So oh, wow. Jericho, if you have a purple sword, you have to play a sword. Um, play a low one if you have a choice, because John is already trumping, so he's going to win the trick. Okay, now to winter. Same thing. If you have a sword, you have to play it. And that is just... Ugly. My claws are stronger than your soul. Yeah, that's just fantastic because I have to play this. Ah, lovely thank card. you all. So that means John okay. wins the trick by trumping, so he gets a cheese. And Oops. then we can just discard these to the middle here. Oops. Come on. Oh, Ooh, I like that. That's clever. That's cute. Yeah, right. I really like that. And now, John, since John win, won the trick, he now hey. gets to lead the next trick. So <laughs> you get to choose whatever you want to lead, John. Uh, okay. And this stays. Okay. Yeah, it's still high high claws for the whole length of this this hand. Well, I know uh, one person's hand, and I know that. The oh, you're leading like Trump! Wow. Okay, so you got to play wow, claws okay. if you have it. Keep in mind, this is when the two of cheese comes into play. It is also considered a claw if you happen to have that card. Um, if you have no claws, play something low in another suit. But if you have claws, you have to play it. <laughs> oh, the ace comes <laughs> out. <laughs> well like played, I knew what Jericho. You had. Uh oh. Okay. Well, they were they were trying to go for the. Shoot they the are trying to go nil, but they're forced one. to play it too. But the <laughs> two of cheese might come into play too. You never know. That's true. Um, that's why I didn't know it. Play. Yeah, <laughs> that's that's fine. Okay, so I got the three. <laughs> so currently the ace is up. I guess the ace won it. Okay. But it's not that big of a deal because you're still getting cheese, so that's fine. I I, I did a thing, you guys. <laughs> you did. You did do a thing. I have no so, idea what I did, but I did it. <laughs> so now, Jericho, you get to lead a new trick. Any suit you wish. You do not need to lead with claws. You can lead with any other suit. And high is going to be good in any suit. So just to, like, clarify. Yes. What is the difference between starting with a claw and starting with a scurry? 
So the scurry is just during that opening action phase to try and manipulate the hand and cards. And then mm -hmm. after that, we play through our whole hand of trick cards, the playing cards. And then at the end of that, we'll get to play the red scamper cards. So they're like bookends to the trick playing. But we're going to play all of, the, all of these cards first before so we do a scamper. It's blue and then numbers and then red. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. This is clever. I'm liking this. So traps, queen of traps to winter. Ooh. If you have a trap, you have to play it. If you're out of traps, um, you may play a claw, or you can play anything else, too. But if you have a trap, you have right. to play a trap. And are aces considered high or low in this? I'm aces guessing Aces are high. always high. Yes, aces are always okay. high in this game. This is why it reminded me I was just checking in on that. Holy you have, moly. You have, you have no traps, Angie? Really? None. Ugh, brutal. He's I just did a take your card. <laughs> uh, I know. I didn't. I couldn't remember if you had any traps though in your hand. None. Oh, brutal. It's okay. So your lead, Angie. Mm. Gee. I mean. Cheese. Cheese to John. Cheese. Oop. To Jericho, if you have cheese. Queen is currently Ooh. winning to Winter. That hand. I'm Ace. so sad oh, that brutal. I had to get about that hand. That's all I've got. So that is uh, Winter wins that trick. So here's a chance you go, Winter. for you. I'll go in the middle. Woo, woo. And now, Winter, <laughs> you get to lead a trick of your choice. Ace of oh. cheese. Ten of swords, huh? OK. Hmm. I Hello, have no master swords. of chaos. Swords to you, Angie. Swords to me. I do have swords. Swords to Jericho. So long oh, swords. no swords, huh? Oof. Ouch. Another cheese. And you're laid there, Jericho. So I'm starting this one? Yep. yep. Yes. With a 10. Hmm. Okay, King wins it. <laughs> Here's John. Thank you. And then John leads the last trick. Boom. Never had a fight in my life. Ugh. Wow. Brutal. Oh, the Jack's winning. Yeah, that was such a good hand. I'm so what does winner have? Yeah. I had a I feeling like I was going to lose that I one. got garbage. What do you got, Angie? Nada. So that would go to Jericho. Go. I kind of figured that last one I wouldn't win, so I went to my lowest, the 10. So mm -hmm. everyone else took cheese, except for me, so I get stuck with a fink. Okay. Of course, you're the designer. That's how Yeah, works. you know, that's what happens. That's always what happens. Okay. Every time. So we're... Okay. And uh, now we are on to the scamper phase. So this card doesn't take effect for Jericho since they took some cheese. That's fine. We'll just discard that. Okay, so now scamper phase again, starting with Angie, left of the dealer, scampers first. So again, same thing. You can play one scamper card for its effect if you want, or you can discard any number of cards to draw new ones, or you can pass. So you're playing red. Red, red. We're playing the red scamper cards now. Oh, and yeah, sorry about it. These action buttons, it's kind of annoying. I couldn't, it was like the best place I could find to put them, but if your hand ever overlaps over it, it makes it so you can't grab a card. So you'll have oh, to. Oh, like, I was like, am I, am no, I crazy so, right yeah, now? Yeah, you'll have to like <laughs> shift your TTS position a little bit if it gets Ooh, stuck just over a, the top of it. Just a little bit. Yeah, so I'm going to yeah. play Board Gamer okay. and just take two cheese from the supply. Angie, Jeez. welcome to the Three Cheese Club. It's nice. And. Where are the cheese? There they are. Yeah. Yeah, these are just bags. They're just custom Three. bags. You can draw from them. Also, uh, the fives are just to replace if you get a whole bunch of ones. There's five cheese wheels mm. here, too. Well, Angie, uh, your membership to the Three Cheese Club has been short-lived. Why? <laughs> no. Wait, what? 
So John is playing squeaky clean, so all other players have to discard two cheese unless you have a shield card. So if you have any red card with a shield in the upper left corner, you may play that to block that effect from hurting you. And would that go clockwise in order of operations? Yeah, everyone gets to just play one. They, they don't oh, okay. really matter if it affects anything. So does anybody have a Jericho or winner? Do you have a shield card? I do not have a shield. The fact that I only have one cheese just means I have no cheese now. Yeah. Yeah. So that gets discarded. Uh, but... There's two. So Winter gets a fan. How many cheese do I have? Okay. I had three. Yeah. I am really. I'm sorry. I didn't know how much cheese I had. <laughs> no, that's fine. I took care of it. Okay. So I knew gonna... you were going to. I gave you that hand. I'm like, ah, oh, there goes yeah. all those great cards. Uh, oh, and Angie, uh, you need to make sure you draw back up a Scourger Scamper card first before John does. Oh, wait. But that was the one you just played. Yeah. Oh, oh, I see. That's the discard, yeah. And then once you are done, I will finish up my action. There we go. There you go. So there that goes. I will grab Scurry. Okay. And now, Jericho, you can play a red Scamper card of your choice. If All right, can I, can I grab a scamper card before playing this one, or mm, do a... No, unless, I'm not sure what it, what's the card, is there a question about what it's saying, or... Oh, okay, so, yeah, this one just means you can discard any number of the rest of your hand, and however many you discard, you get that many of cheese. Wow. Oh. So I can do scurry and scamper, yep. I don't have yep. to pick between. Correct. Awesome. Yep. That's cool. So that's one... And two. Are you gonna hold on to that one or okay, so grab grab here we go, two cheese for you. What? I was Very alone nice. on the top of Cheese Mountain. What is this? And now you get draw back up so you have a hand of four cards. And you can pick scurry or scamper your choice, however you want to no. mix it up. Nice. Very nice. Very That's nice. That's a really good card. That's wow. a pretty good card. Uh now Winter, your choice to play a scamper. It's now my turn. Yep. Mm -hmm. Everybody can like me. Oh, nice. Mission Pantry. Oh. All players gain one cheese from the supply. You may also discard one thing. So, I don't have a thing. Can I get an extra cheese? <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't that be nice? Now, keep in mind this is order of operations, too. So, if Winter happened to have an, another fink, like a red fink, they would first get to get the cheese, which would get rid of this no cheese fink. And then they could discard the red fink as well, right? Oh, so, because wow. you gain the cheese first. So, gain oh. a cheese. Winter gains a cheese. That gets rid of the fink. It also gets rid of my fink. Thank you very much, Winter. That's very nice. Hee -hee. And now you get to draw a new card, either scurry or scamper, your choice. Hmm. So it looks like John and Jericho both have four. Uh, I think Jericho is owed one. Oh, no, I grabbed one. Draw two. Okay, cool. Um, and Angie has two. Okay. Sorry, sorry, Angie. I'm going to have to do Dirty Rat and steal two cheese. <gasps> so sad. So now you get a fake. Okay, so now we have to figure out dealer, though. So now we look at how much cheese is out here in the unstashed area. So it looks like it's between John and Jericho. So both of you click the cut the deck button here between you. Okay. I just next, click on my next, end. Yeah, yep. just on your end. Hit, Perfect. Cut the deck. And then Jericho right here, cut the deck. Okay, so Jericho wins that cut with the high, high card. So Jericho becomes the dealer for the next round. Go ahead and grab it. Is this the stash phase? Uh, yeah, this is a stash phase. Go ahead and grab a cheesecake out of the cheesecake pile there. I got key lime. Nice. Ooh, Ooh that's my favorite. And you can just put it in your stash pad or whatever. Um, and now everybody can click the Ooh. stash cheese and finks button next to you. And that should move your cheese into the inner <laughs> area. And if you have a fink, it'll it'll automatically flip it over to the red side too, like Angie's just did. You absolute wizard. This is so cool. Yeah, this isn't bad. This is only like a thousand lines of code to do this game, but our <laughs> our uh, heavy Euro music game is like four thousand lines of code. But 
we also have like a lot of tokens to automate movement around the board and everything. So. Um, so it's the red thing that is considered protected? Yeah, so once it flips to the red side, it's guarding the door of your stash. If it's if it's still out on the orange side, it's not protecting the door yet, so your cheese would still be fair game. So currently, Angie, currently Angie is the only one with a protected stash, but she doesn't have any cheese in there to protect, but she'll get some, so... Okay. One of these um, days. So now we are on to round two, which now we're down to six cards for everybody. They should both stash their cheese, yeah? Uh, yeah, hit the stash button, uh, Jericho and Winter. There we go. Where's the stash the button on the uh, board right. next to me? Yeah, next to you, this little set of buttons. Yeah. Gotta boop it. Ooh. Boop it. There we go. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Nice. Uh, okay, so we're now down to six cards, so I will shuffle this. Oh, I gotta put these back in. So up. we're looking at the um, the bottom left card here with the with the maze, right? So it says seven, yeah, right six, here. five, four, three, yep. two. Yep. Yep. Dawson, if you uh, right click the deck and then hit deal, you can deal to all players at the same time. You just tap. Yeah, it. I, I, uh, yeah. I'm trying to remember though if we have that set up right. I think it, I think it was dealing to the non seated players as well. Oh, uh, okay. I don't it. think I had it. That's why I'm like not doing that. But yes, gotcha, I, gotcha. I got okay. that. Okay, we can so. Just draw for you. Uh, yeah, we can just everybody just hover over the deck and hit six. That's going to be easier than me doing it. Haha, -ha. yes. So, Winter, if you hover over the deck over here, there you go. Got it. What okay. is this? Okay, but now since Jericho is the dealer and won that last round, Jericho now gets to pick the trump based on their hand. So Jericho, take a look at your cards, and you actually, basically what you want to do is if you have a lot of high, you're probably going to want to go with some some trump that's got a high card order, and then usually you pick the suit that you have the most in as the actual suit, but it's up to you. Sometimes you have, like, it's split down the middle, and then you just kind of choose something. Um, so go ahead and... Any kind other yeah. than Scardian Stamper, obviously? Yeah, you're just looking at your the playing cards, these ones here, and... Based on what you have in your hand, you're going to want to pick high or low and a suit. So if you got a bunch of low cards, twos and threes, you're probably going to want to go low. If you've got face cards, you probably want to go high. It gets harder when there's less cards to <laughs> pick between. So um, no, you're not playing a card yet. You're just you're going to tell you're going to pick what you want the trump to be. So just tell me, and I'll I'll pick it out of the deck for you. So do you want high or low, and what suit? Uh. Low claws. Low claws. Okay, so here is the low claws card. Okay, so we are looking at low claws as the trump. So that means Aww. low. So that means low in all suits is going to be good. So low in every suit is going to win tricks, and then claws happens to be the special trump suit for this hand. Okay, so now that we know that information, starting left of the dealer, which is going to be winter. Winter gets to now play a blue scurry card if they wish. And then this just repeats. So we'll all get to play a scurry card, then we'll play the trick hand out, then we'll play a scamper card, pick a new dealer, repeat. So, Winter, do you have a scurry card that would help you that you want to play? I don't want to play this, I want to discard this. You can, can totally I do, do that? that. Just Yeah, yep, yeah, just discard and you can draw a new card. That just act, counts as your turn, though. But that's fine, you can totally do that. Yeah. Um... <laughs> Draw okay, and then just draw something new. It can be a scurry or a scamper, your choice. Right. Okay, and then let's see. Let's know what to do here. Hmm. Okay, sure, I'll play this. I'm going to play Rat Race. Which lets me steal two cheese from any unprotected stash. So that means Angie's is off limits, but everyone else is on limits. Let's see, John, you got four cheese to spare, so I think yeah. I'm gonna steal two cheese from you. I understand. Yeah. And if and you... note and, and notice since this is an action of this current round, that cheese comes out here to my unstashed area because any cheese you earn during the round is, comes out here to the unstashed section. Um, okay, and then I get a new card. I guess I'll take one of these. Sure. 
follow up to that. Uh, whenever you play that specific card, does it have to be one person's stash, or can you draw one from two? Uh, it's from one specific stash. Yeah. There are there are cards that tell you to draw from your left and your right. So yeah, there are times when you'll you can draw from players to either side of you, uh, but it'll specify that if that's the case. Jesus. Uh, so Angie, your turn to scurry. Uh, I think I just realized. Sorry, your shirt says "May the Finks be with you," doesn't it? And and not with me. Yes. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> yes, this is my. Can you see that? I don't know. Rat Fink shirt, awesome. Nice, nice. We actually have like a dozen different Rat Fink shirts already designed, so I just need to nice. put them out on a storefront for everybody to be able to look at. I will pass because I don't want to discard or use my cards. This okay, time. so John, do you have a scurry? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Ah, big flip. Nice. Okay, so uh, you so it needs to be high claws now, right? Okay, let's see. Search. Where's the high? Here we go. High claws. I'm gonna say thank you to that too. You're welcome. There we go. That's oh. probably not a great thing for me then. Oh, sorry. That's okay. No reason. <laughs> And now, uh, Jericho, you were last since you were dealer, so you may scurry if you wish. Ah, Mulligan. So everybody has to discard one playing card. So not your screen scamper, but one of the other ones. Uh, just discard it out here to the middle. Face up? Here. Yeah, just face up to this discard pile. And then Hi. starting with Jericho, Jericho gets to draw first. From the deck, top of the deck, just hit one to draw a new card off the top. Uh, hmm. hmm. That's going to be mm -hmm. High Claws. Yeah, this is brutal. Um, yeah, okay, sure. Uh, okay. All right. Jeez. All right. All right. Brutal. Did everybody get a replacement card? I have not yet. I'm waiting for okay. my turn to draw. Angie, did you draw? Uh, sorry. Uh, a new one? Yeah, from yeah, the deck. Sure. Okay. Yeah, let's discard Ooh. it and then grab a new one. That is a direct glow up. I like that. Very nice. Okay, so that we have all scurried. So now again, mm -hmm. left of dealer, Winter, you get to lead us off with whatever trick suit you wish. It does not have to be claws, but now notice though it has now changed. It is now high claws. So high in all suits is going to be good. So any suit with a high card is going to be a good lead. Your choice. Okay, King of Traps. To me, this is just so much fun i cannot do anything here so angie uh -huh. king of traps to you king of traps traps if you got it i got i do have traps oh shoot okay there it is you John, no traps no claws jericho do you have a trap that i do oh the ace very nice so that is cheese to you there and thank you uh, thank you now you will of lead course off. Very nice. Very nice. I try. Thank you. <laughs> Do I lead again then, or does Jericho lead? Uh, Jericho leads. Sorry, Jericho, Jericho, Jericho leads. won the trick. Yeah. I'm thinking. Some, I'm sorry. <laughs> not okay. there, there are some cards that change the play order, where sometimes if you win a trick, the player next to you leads because you always get to go last and wait to see what everyone else plays first. Um, so there is a card that alters that, but if, unless that card is in effect, yeah, whoever wins the trick is going to lead. I believe it's Winter's turn. Oh, yeah, Winter, mm -hmm. sorry. Uh, Jericho led the Ten of Claws, so Claws, if you have it, and the higher the better. Sorry, I got distracted and have to play. No worries. All right. Lovely, right? Yeah, here's here's my answer to that. I have no claws. <laughs> Good to know. Ah, uh, the queen. Ah, the queen wins it. Angie. Uh -huh. I'll take that cheese. Thank uh -huh. you. Uh -huh. You're lead, your lead Angie. <laughs> okay, sorry. I, I do have to um, acknowledge this little interaction happening in the chat before I play something. So um, 
Master of Chaos here was asking about animal teams, and I literally thought it was my other friend who was nicknamed himself Agent of Chaos because they've been dropping raccoon emojis. And on our server, everybody gets to choose an animal team, and he's on Team Raccoon. So I was messaging him asking, like, did you make a gaming page or something? And you're just dropping raccoon emojis. What's going on? But apparently it is somebody else. So welcome. Yes, um, we do have, uh, you know, so um, Winter and Jericho and anyone who is playing a game um, with me or interacting with the stream gets badges on the server. And at the end of the month, um, whichever team has the most badges gets um free art requests for me because I am also an artist just like Dawson um so from sheer coincidence um if you choose team raccoon you will also be joining the agent of chaos master of chaos <laughs> on team welcome raccoon. master of chaos so uh, in fact audio. this is Jones who is our agent of chaos <laughs> who's also a raccoon and says indeed so master of chaos mean agent of chaos um, you know what? Now it's just fate. Now you have to do it. But yeah, go team <laughs> dolphins. <laughs> and uh, okay. Walter's fate. welcome. So I will now actually choose um, a thing, and we're on the trick phase. Apologies. Yes. So you're leaving. You your key for me. And claws. And Perfect. I'm gonna do. Let's do. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I know. Be nice. Yeah. Ah, no swords, huh? Nope. You have to play a sword if you have it, Jericho. The swords were lead. If you're out of swords, you can play a claw. Oh, no! Winter, if you have a sword, you still have to play a sword. Since swords were lead. Yeah. I know, it's brutal, right? I have to follow suit. Okay, so the king wins it. Yikes. Very I brutal. Excuse me, yep. Meister. Here you go. <laughs> and Jericho, your lead. Let's see if we can do that again. Oh my goodness, nine of claws. Oh. This is getting brutal. Run in the Trump. Run in the Trump. <laughs> uh, All the, hey, claws look. Time. That was pure happenstance. All I've got <laughs> are claws, except for one card, and I'm keeping that till the end because it's shoddy. So I thought that you had low claws in your hand. I had a mix of both. I had two high, two medium low, and then a three. Oh, well... I regret my choices. So, <laughs> that's why when you had said, um, or that's why when you had came in and you had said, let's switch it up to the highs instead of the lows, I said, thank you. Well, I figured you yeah, had like two and I three. I heard that. I thought you had like two and three. Yeah, and that's what I was saying. I was like, ah, oh, that doesn't move well. So that's okay. No, I but it's an even my turn. turn. Yep. Yeah, winter claws to you if you have a claw. Otherwise, anything else. There you go. And yeah, I, I've got. Focus. I had two high, two Claws low. Claws to you, Angie. And then a medium. Yes. Claws. I mean. I guess I just have to play this again. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, Angie wins it with oh. two cheese. Brew. Two wow. cheese wins. Yep. Nice, nice. Nicely well, played. Congrats on the cheese. Well the done. Card there. It's, it's the host advantage. You always get the two cheese. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. 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 Joe. All right. Okay, what you gonna leave, Ange? Wait, why? What? You won the Whoa! <laughs> Jones! <laughs> Did you just donate a hundred dollars? Chaos <laughs> forever! This is why he's nicknamed Agent of Chaos. <laughs> now you see why I was saying whoa. <laughs> So Thank you for like the one hundred dollars. Apparently they like the game. I don't know. Okay, Ange, what are you gonna leave? Well, happy birthday. Yeah. <laughs> Go buy yourself something nice tomorrow. Uh we'll pay yes, them bills. I'm supposed to be playing something. Yes. That's right. Really like, <laughs> <You're leaving. laughs> Jones, thanks again. Um yeah, I'm gonna clean of swords. Swords to you there, John. Jeez. Swords to Jericho, if you have swords. Sword, you're out. Wow. Claws. Wait, you still have them. Swords were lead if you have it. Otherwise, you can play claws or anything else. 
But if you have swords, you have to play a sword. Okay. Swords to winter. I got like mildly excited for that. <laughs> no, pink. Oh, no, man. Pink. Yeah. Jack. Okay, so Queen wins it. No. Oh. My yeah, it's because it's because yep. you played on suit. Uh, since I played off suit and it wasn't yep. Trump. Yeah. I'm gonna get a think. You're lead again, Ange. Same. Um. Well, I mean, I just, I just have a low. What one. is this? I know it's horrible. Swords just avoid <laughs> my hand like the plague. So bad, Jericho. <laughs> uh. Do you, none of you have swords <laughs> at all? Oh, I never, I've oh, never oh, had swords in my life. Brutal. That's Jericho. Oh. Jericho wins the last one. Okay, cheese to Jericho. There you go. Okay. Nice one. I was holding off for a bit. Yeah. Think me. Boom. Just nice. Uh, oof. Winter gets a think. Okay. And I already had some cheese, so that's good. Okay. Since I stole some at the beginning, so that protects me. Okay. And I've oh, got and uh, your think, John, is. Uh, oh, until afterwards. Here. Yep. What it... Okay, so now we are on the scamper phase. Oh, and uh, Jericho, you need to draw back up either a scurry or a scamper card. Looks like you missed one from earlier. Make sure you, you should always have four. How did I manage that? Magic. <laughs> uh, one minute. Okay. Um... So now, uh, Winter, you get to now lead off the scamper phase, if you wish. So remember, anything that would get you cheese will get rid of that fink for you. Wait, anything that gets me cheese will get rid of the fink will make it, like, go away? Yeah, because it's you have it because of not having cheese. So if you gain yeah. cheese, it gets rid of it. Yeah. Yeah, no, I think I'm still going to just uh, skip the... Oh, wait, I want to discard this card. Okay, that's fine. You can discard and draw something new. Discard and draw happens on both the um, scurry and scamper face. Yep, that's correct. Yeah. That's always the same choice. You can either play one card for a or discard any number to draw up. Okay, hmm. Scamper to me... Uh, yeah, sure. I'll play Claws. Ooh. So, mm -hmm. does anybody have a shield card? Shield, no. anybody? No. Nobody has a shield. Mm -mm. Okay, then no everybody shields gets, here. Okay, everybody gets a red pink. There you go. Listen. Oh my <laughs> gosh, what happened? <laughs> it's like eating it. <laughs> Oh, the joys of Tabletop oh. Simulator. There What's we it go. doing? There we go. <laughs> it wants to be its own thing. Okay. There are two there? <laughs> yeah, there's two. That's disappointing. Uh, uh, so now, Ange, change? yeah, you're Scamper. I don't like that. I'm going <laughs> to give you one of my red things. One okay, of except I have a dog whistle, so... No! That blocks it and goes back to you. Rude. What on earth? It doesn't want to exist. Yeah, I don't know why there's... I'll take a look at it later. I don't know what's going on. All right. The board <laughs> might be slightly raised or something. All players okay. give me one cheese. Oh, for, first, Angie, you need to draw back up, and then I need to draw back up, so... Watch out. Surprise, surprise! All players give me one cheese. Uh, the one Cheddar Throne. Cheese. So we all have to pay... And that comes from your outer... Stat outer outer thing outer first. first yes, which in which turn gets rid if of this. That's your last cheese. Then you get a new thing. So Angie, you get a thing. Wait, I have two you... cheese. Oh, you have two. Okay. I have no in outer cheese. So you're it actually comes from my stash. No, no, no. So your stash is protected because of this red. So you actually don't uh -huh. have any. Nothing happens to you. So you Root? can't. Yeah, your inner cheese is safe, and you had none out here, so you can't get another. No cheese fink. You can only get a max of one. So, so the inner cheese is protected by the finks. Right, but the outer cheese is not. No, it's not protected. My turn. So you kind of want one red fink. Yeah, I mean, in a, in a perfect game, you would keep one red fink for most of the game, and then like get rid of it at the end. The problem is, it's going to accelerate getting more finks as it goes on, and so 
<laughs> if you kind of wait too long, you're just going to get a pile of them. So it's kind of, yeah. <laughs> a little catch-22 there. They kind of help you, but they're also dangerous. So Okay, so uh, that was you, John, right? So now yes. to uh, J uh, Jericho, do you have a scamper you wish to play? How much cheese does everyone have? Uh, let's see. In the unstashed, I have one. Angie has two. I have two. John has two. None in the John. unstashed. Hey. Give me your cheese. Aha! This is the uh, hot fuzz reference card. Great or good. Who's John? <laughs> so, uh, yeah, right there. So Jericho stole two cheese from John, and then all other players except John get to gain one cheese from the supply. That is very nice. You're That's welcome. Fine. So now here you go, Winter. Very and that sweet. gets rid of your fake, Winter. So, so I did that for you, Winter. There you go. Much love. Much love, Jericho. <laughs> okay, so now we, now, not we, nice the entire now we count cheese. It looks like Jericho <laughs> is the winner again for this round. Okay, so Jericho, grab another cheesecake, and we will advance the round counter here. Oh, that's strawberry this time. Mm. Nice. So we're now down to five cards. So now go ahead and hit the stash button to move your cheese and thinks over if you have not yet. So you can have two red ones? You can have a whole stack of red ones, yeah. You okay, only have a max great. of one orange oh. one, but the red ones could stack up. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. So let me put this back. Make sure this is hmm. cool. interesting. Okay, we're down to five cards. So everybody just hover over the deck and hit five to draw five up. And then Jericho, you will get to pick the trump again based on your cards. So high or low in a suit. Just tell me and I'll pull it out of the deck here for you. Oh my gosh, hmm. the chaos the chaos people have uh, teamed up. I'm a little afraid, but also <laughs> intrigued. <laughs> All of the raccoons. <laughs> we'll have to we'll have to make a raccoon game, Dawson. Raccoon. Uh, I guess high swords. High swords. Okay. All right. So high mm. swords. And uh, winter once again, you are left of dealer still, so you get to scurry first with a blue scurry card, if you wish. Mm -hmm. So far, I'm just being a greedy little rat. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, twice in a row. Oh, nice. So uh, Winter is playing the poutine card. Ooh, so poutine. I'll take the one fink. One cheese and supply for each fink you have. I love that there's a Canadian flag yeah. on there. We do have uh, people in chat repping Canada as well. There you go. And then uh, draw a new card, Winter. Your choice, scurry or scamper. We can do either or. Yep, you can always pick either. If it's however you want to strategize. I did not know that. All up front or all in the back or two of each, however you want to do it. It's always your choice. Um, let's see. So now I got to scurry here. No. Yeah. I think I will. Oh, man. Do I want to. Hmm. I don't want to hear it, no fink boy. I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm just gonna discard and draw a card. Angie, your scurry. My scurry. Mm -hmm. I think. I'm actually going to discard this and pull a different one. Okay. Should mm -hmm. and this it can one... be either, right? It I'm can be either one. This one, yeah. Should this card be in the discard? Oh, yeah. I, yeah. Whoops. There we go. I was like, why is that there? Does that play for the entire thing? Or... Ready? Yep. What are you doing, John? Hey, nose off. Aha. Uh, cutting the so, deck. So, yeah, John can either pay three cheese to Jericho, nope. or you can both cut the deck for high card. So apparently he's going with the cut the deck option. So both oh. of you need to click the cut oh, the deck no. button, Jericho. Oh right no. Please. Oh, yes. So John won the cut. So that oh. means John now becomes the dealer. 
So that means he steals your cheesecake, too. Thank you. Oops. Not the cheese. Just, just one of them? Yeah, just one of them. Because I am now the new dealer. He becomes the new dealer. And I get to choose a new Trump suit. And he gets to pick a new Trump. So you are close, but we're going to go with low swords. Okay. Noted, so, noted, uh, noted. I, l I love the low swords card, too, because it's, it's so hilarious. They're playing li Limbo there. That's so. funny, yeah. Oh my gosh, it's so funny. Are those those plastic... Um, yeah. Yeah, they're the skewers for cheese. Toothpicks, yeah. 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 So you yeah. can see it like a wedding or something. Yeah. Um, I Maybe love the, the, the Iron team. Throne reference, too. That was clever. <laughs> thank Never you, mind. thank you. Yeah. Yes, there is a lot of pop culture references on these cards if you uh, pick one up. This one's from Hot Fuzz, if anybody has seen the movie. so I know of it. I haven't seen it, unfortunately. Yeah. Um, okay, so that that was John. So And you drew back up John. So now, oh, yeah. Jericho, you now get to... Oh, but you don't have a scurry card, so... No, I do not. Okay. I have so, a scamper card. Can I play uh, that? No, because we're in the scurry phase right now. So now you could you could discard any of those to draw something new, scurry or scamper, if you wished. But you don't have to. You can also just pass. I kind of want to toss one out. You can totally do that. Just because I've had it for a while. That's fine. So I'm going to discard okay. that one. And then you can draw either one back up. Okay. So now John is now the dealer, so that means Jericho, you now get to lead off the trick for hey left of dealer. So it uh, looks like it's low. So low in any suit is going to be good, and swords happens to be the trump. So you do not have to lead with swords. You can lead with any suit. And lower the better. Okay, so traps to you, Winter. If you have a low trap, that is a good play. Or swords if you are out of traps. But you have to play a trap if you got it. Okay. My brain hurts. And it's swords. <laughs> Trick taking games no, will do that to you. I have no traps, unfortunately, so I am trumping. What is this? I know. Swords to you, Ange. I mean, not swords, sorry, trap. It's a uh, traps to you, Angie. Trap. I don't have any traps. Oh, okay. Me, this one. Okay, so I won that one. Hmm. Okay. Um, low, huh? Okay. How about two of claws to you, Angie? And it's low, G. Low, okay. yeah. Oh, no claws, huh, John? I see. Mm -hmm. Claws to you, Jericho. Okay, claws to you, winner. Hmm. Now, if you don't have claws, if you have a lower sword than the nine, you could win the trick. But if not, it's fine. Okay. Um, da -da. That's yours, John. Your lead, John. Ten of cheese to Jericho. Lower the better. Six is currently winning to you, Winter. And because this up. is at the low, right? Like right. that you means want that lower. a lower cheese. Yep. Yeah. yeah. The, the lower, the better. Nice. So the five is currently winning. At least winning. I can do that. <laughs> I can't do anything. Thank you, Angie. So, yeah, Winter wins that with the five. Very Bravo. nice. Bravo. Hey, my first trick. I didn't do anything. I wanted it high. <laughs> uh, did you just grab that cheese, Winter, or was that for something No. Else? Okay. That was the cheese that I got from my scurry. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Okay, so now you should have... Are we? Oh, we're out of cheese here. I'll, uh, I'll put some... Here, take one of mine and I'll, I'll get a five. Must be nice. Is that like a Gouda cheese? Yeah, it is. Ooh, that's cute. Think free farms. <laughs> hey, I think five pounds of think free farms, something and approved. I can also switch out mine. I have five little cheese wedges right here. Oh, okay. Yeah. 
must be nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you caught that? Yeah, he's mm -hmm. doing pretty well for himself over there. It'd be a real shame if some rats came over. Something well, were to happen to your cheese. Jericho yeah. currently has the most cheese, so I don't know what you're complaining about. Yeah, but Fink's is the overall goal, right? Yeah, yeah. They have a Fink. That's true. Yeah, uh, good try. Uh, I know, yeah. I tried. Yeah, for now. <laughs> okay, so wait, so on to you. where were we just at? That was... I have um, no... <laughs> Winter had won the, oh, the hand. Or the right. I won that trick. trick. So, Winter, so you lead. would be leading. Your lead. So I lead? Yep. Yes. yes. Lead. And low is good. All right, okay. well, I'm going to go this. Seven. I'm bombing so hard right now. <laughs> cheese. Uh, Angie trumps it. Uh, John under trumps it. Cheese if you got it, though, Jericho. Yeah. I know. So John wins that one. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It would be a shame if during the scurry phase you all lost your cheese. <laughs> Wouldn't it be so What terrible? do you got, John? Uh, Why do you think I want an underswords? Uh-huh. Why do you think I want an upper? Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> my turn, yes? Yeah, you're, yes. you're, you're playing with her. Because my mom broke it. Oh. Well, it doesn't matter because I have the two of cheese, so there you go. Oh, I'll no. Put this out there. Thank you very much. I despise this card. <laughs> no. This card, yeah, that card does uh, does quite a number. Okay, so that was the hand. So now we are scampering. And uh, Jericho, you are first because you are left of dealer. So red scamper card, if you wish. What is this one? Give me your oh, cheeses. Oh, fuck you. This is fantastic. Okay, so everybody that has unprotected cheese, so that means me anything cheese. in your unstashed or if your cheese is not protected by a fink, which means all of my cheese, which is fantastic. <laughs> it's all going to just kind of, yeah, just kind of toss it out here or whatever. So and I will. I get one. Yeah. What was played? Oh my gosh. Well, uh, all players place all unprotected cheese in a central yeah. pot and take one cheese, and then each player takes one clockwise until gone. Wow. Yeah, I didn't have any cheese, so I played that so I could have the cheese. I like that. Thank you. Okay. So now it's wait, communism. So, so Jericho, you took one. So now Winter, you get a cheese right here. And then I get a cheese, oh, and cheese. then Angie gets a cheese, and then John gets a cheese, and then Jericho gets a cheese, Wait. and then Winter gets a cheese, we all I get a cheese, a Angie gets a cheese, John gets a cheese. There we go. There we go. Wow. So now we Bundy all have sounds two. really good right now. But, but notice, Beautiful I'm, cheese I, I, redistribution. I five. Yeah, that was a very good cheese re redistribution, because all of you had Finks, and I was not protected. So that was a very well-timed play of that card. Thank you. <laughs> no, thank you. I <laughs> and then uh, draw a replacement card here. And then winter. Oh, yeah. Sure about that. Yeah, if Honestly. you can play that card like in a good time like that, that was really well played. <laughs> that was a great play for Fondue. That was a, that was a perfect And it's my Fondue turn? Card. It's your turn, Winter, yes. Okay. <laughs> Aha, Winter is attacking all of us with the squeaky clean card. So if you have a shield, that will block it. Otherwise, you must discard two cheese. We'll block what if you have it in your hand? Cheese. Can you play it now? Yeah, if you have a shield, you can play it. Go ahead and play it if you have a shield. I got a shield. Okay, you have the faulty trap. Okay, so that just blocks it. You don't have an effect, but it doesn't uh, give you anything. John had the one that gets I got the cheese. Bonus. We're good. And Angie, did you have anything? No, you discarded? No, I discarded. So, so then you get a fink. And I have to discard, which also gives me a think. Sad. Well played, Winter. Bravo. And uh, you need a new card, Winter. Draw. So either a scurry or a scamper, your choice. I gotta draw again. Oh yeah, Jericho, you should. Yeah, you should have four. Both of you need to draw. Um, what am I doing here? Not letting me. Okay, so I'm going to... Oh, are we out of cards? Oh, we're out of cards. Sorry. Here, let me, uh... Yeah, we're out of scamper cards. Okay. So I was like... I'm going to put this one back because I wanted a scamper card. I see you liking those scamper cards. 
Am I allowed to do that? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, because I didn't want that. I wanted this. Okay. Um. Hmm. Hmm. It's your go, right, Dawson? What yeah, you gonna I do? know. I'm what trying gonna to decide do? what I want to do. <laughs> uh, I, I guess I'll just play this now. I'm going to discard my fake. But I don't have any cheese to give you, so sorry, you're out of luck. There, there you mm. go. You should get a fink for not having cheese. <laughs> 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 to make that card useless. <laughs> That is kind of a weird, because like you still have no cheese. Yeah. Hmm. I play charcuterie. What's that? Dude? I gain two cheese yeah. if I had none. Yeah. Gets rid of your thing. Ah. And then John, your turn to scamper. I love it when you die, when you show me the show if there you it, go. Yeah, if it, oh, you have another one. I was yeah. like, is that unprotected? Because I'll yeah. take. <laughs> uh, no. then Jericho will take some. Okay. Uh, oh, and, uh, and, and then do I? Uh, I, uh, I drop again because I use yeah. the shield card. Yeah, and Angie needs a card too. I got it. Okay. Uh, so who has the most cheese? John's got three. Jericho has two. Winter has two. So it looks like John, you are the dealer. So you get another uh, cheesecake. Go ahead and stash anything if you have anything to stash. Uh, and I'm going to trade in for a five. Okay. Oh, here. You, you have to drop them. I have to fix the code on this. You have to drop them in one at a time. Oh, okay. Otherwise, it sticks them in as one block. That's not what you want? A block of cheese? Yeah. Mm. I don't know how cheese. I zoomed all the way out, but I zoomed all the way out and put it in the wrong spot. Stop. Oh, you got the sampler. Just as long nice. as you don't accidentally hip flip the table. <laughs> I don't think you should be able to. I think I have that turned off. Right. Uh, I can hover over flip. Really? It's not great. I'm just letting you know. Uh, you might not be able to roll it, though. So I can I... Risk it. <laughs> yeah, I don't. Can I just, just to help out, can I switch this for a wheel? Oh, here, I'll take care of it. Yeah, go ahead. Here, here you go. Here's a wheel. Awesome. Dang, look at all this oh, cheese goodness. dough. Look at all of that cheese. Jericho, you're number seven. Oh my gosh. Look at all of this cheese. And That's a lot of cheddar. Cakes. Mm, they're protected by this fink. I know. Mm. It's brutal. Um, and that key lime cheesecake, like just yum. Looks so good. Okay, so we are now down to four cards. I don't like cheesecake. Okay, so at four cards, there's a special thing here. If you get dealt one of each suit, you can call four blind rats and discard your hand and get new cards. Oh. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, it's your choice, though. So, like, if you get the two of cheese, you might want to hold on to it. But if you don't like having one of each suit, you want, like, something different of a distribution, you can choose to do that. That is your choice at four cards. Also, at four so cards, good. if you wish, you can discard all your Scurry and Scamper cards and get four new cards of your choice. But it's an all-or-nothing if you want to do that at this time. Neat. So two is God, but ace. Where does that come into play? Uh, if if you're card. looking for high card in the Trump. Yeah, it just depends on if oh, we don't know if we don't what know. we're doing for Trump yet. Yeah, you have to decide if you want to get a new hand if you have one of each suit now before you find out what the Trump's going to be, unfortunately. So we're so. all drawing four right We're now, all right? drawing four. Dawson, you're up to draw. Okay. Oh, what was it? Four wow. blind rats? So if, you have, rats. if you have one of each suit, you can discard your hand and get four new ones. I would like oh, to snap. Trap. Sword. Claw. Uh -huh. Jeez. Yep. Okay. Wow. All right. Four new ones. Uh -huh. hey. Nice. All right. I like this one. Okay, and now since John is the dealer, Jericho, once again, you are the first to scurry, if you wish. Oh, but first, uh, John, you need to pick a Trump suit. Uh, what do you yeah. want? Yeah. Uh, gosh, uh, I guess we'll do... Um... I know, it gets hard with not many cards in your hand. <laughs> we'll do low cheese. Low cheese, okay. Low cheese is the current Trump. 
Okay, so now scurry to you if you wish, Jericho. Nice. Secret stash. So you draw two extra cards, and then you're going to discard any two cards out of wow. your hand. So it kind of lets Lots you fine tune your hand. Wow. It's really wow, nice. Wow, wow, wow. That's very strong. V strong. Mm hmm. Uh. I don't know what I'm trying to do. <laughs> don't tell me that. Oh my goodness. Okay, and then draw a new card of your choice. And then winter your choice to play a blue scurry if you wish. Sheesh. We're about halfway done with the game, yeah? Oh, yeah, it's well more than halfway. We have two rounds after this. Oh, uh, I guess that makes sense because we play less cards. Yeah. yeah makes sense. Uh, cheese cam. Oh, very nice. Okay, so playing so, cheese cam. So she gets, uh, they get to pick uh, somebody's hand to look at, and they're going to get to swap a card with them. So the How do I to... secretly look at someone's cards here? You're right, so I'm going to tell you how to do that. So first, tell us who you want to look at. I'm thinking I want to look at yours. Uh, John? Ooh. Or who? who? Dawson. Who oh, me? Yeah. Okay. Uh. So, I'm, so I'm going to drop my hand. And now uh, what you're going to do is right click on that and hit search. You can see what I have. And then what you're going to do is draw a card out of that into your hand if you wish. Okay. And this is before we even know what the thing, or do no, we know what the Trump is this time? It's, it's low cheese right now. Here to pick low cheese. Oh, why is there a cheese floating? I I wanted to just mention this is as I was hovering over here, I noticed that this cheese wedge was eaten by the board. But oh, I think that's probably, from when the yeah, it was from when um the fondue the, the fondue hit. So who was the last player that oh. drew? It's oh, that was Dawson. Cheese. Was the last or not Dawson? Not. This, this guy. No, John oh, Drew. I am bad at names. John well, Drew that would have so that would have made eleven, which so yeah. It would have gone to you. Okay. I just wanted to be fair about it because I saw the outline yeah. of it and I was like, uh. <laughs> Stupid board. Okay. I just like looked over and saw and Ant holding then... cheese. I was like, what? What's going on? I'm just. I am the type <laughs> of person to just bring cheese out of nowhere. <laughs> Yeah, I just saw her hand floating, just like this, like, barely moving. It's like, what are you doing? Okay, I to believe be that I put the deck down. I don't know how to pull this necessarily into my hand. I'm trying oh, to. Uh-oh. Is this it? There, there it go. goes. Yeah. And you put a card back in mine? Yep. Okay. That's how you do it. And then uh, draw, right. draw a screen or a screen oh. card. But you put your knee on it. That's why we added that drop hand button because it really comes in handy for doing that kind of stuff. Yeah. Um, okay, what am I going to do here? Blah, blah. I, I guess I'm going to cold deck then. Oh, what is this? So Ooh. it's kind of a cheat. It guarantees that I'm going to be the dealer. However, if I want to take advantage of that, I have to pay whoever would have been the dealer a cheese at the end of the round. So what you're doing and a stash. Give the winner of the round matches. I see. Huh. Cool. The house always wins. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> no, I don't think no, people are gonna like this bad. very much, but I'm gonna do the big flip. Okay. Oh, you're flipping it? Okay, so we're gonna be uh, high keys. I'm sorry, Jericho. Don't get too comfortable with it. I'm minorly confused, but I'm going to keep my question until the end. Good. Did you get a new card, Ange? Yeah, okay. I'll take... Slamming doors in there. This one. Okay, hmm. we can't have that. So. <laughs> okay, so this goes back in, and then we shuffle that. Wait. What? There we what? Go. And then I do get to draw two and look. Draw two and look at them, and then you pick one that's going to be the neutral. Oh, dear. Low swords. Oh, gosh. Okay. Jericho, oh, did you have I a changed. question? 
Plus, it might be good to ask uh, right after the thing happened. Yeah, what was the question? No, it's like a generalized question, but it's fine. Okay. I, okay. I, like I said, it can wait. That's why I said okay. I'll wait. Okay. Okay. So it uh, wasn't about the specific action or anything? It was just a, okay. Nah. Okay, I mean, so that was kind of related, but nah. That was everybody scurried. Uh, so now we are on the trick phase. And Ooh. Jericho, you are left of dealer, so you lead off whatever trick you want. And low is good in all suits, and swords is trump. Yeah. Claws to you, Winter. Low is good. Claws if you have it. Swords is trump if you don't. Um, or, or anything else, too. Yeah, that's fine. I would uh, maybe consider putting an up arrow or something to show that aces are high. I mean, obviously, you just put it in the rule book, but I feel like some players would forget. If you can iconography that in some way, I'd be worried about that. It is mentioned in the rulebook, but yeah. Okay. Uh, oh, so I won that with the five? Okay. Did everybody play? Yeah, we did. Okay. I didn't see that. Okay. So who won that one? I won that one. Okay. Um, eh. How did but I get then, these two cheese wedges? That will not go around. I have no clue. Uh, <laughs> what did you what did you play for a scurry? Um uh, the big flip oh. Yeah. I'm not sure how I got this. Was it a Did you scurry? never did you never stash your cheese from last night? Probably didn't stash your cheese. That's what I would assume. Okay. I guess I could trade it off. Oh uh, what wait. <laughs> It's you five. Have to, you have oh, to do I it see. one at a time. It's okay. I got it. I got it. Okay. Yeah. And it's your turn to play a card as well, Ange. <sighs> I led with the nine of claws. Oh. Okay. Swords. Okay, still claws if you got it. Grr. So just like Jericho, you don't have to play the sword since John's going to win with the four. Unless you have no choice, is my point. Like, you can play anything else. If you don't have claws, you're not going to play Trump. Suit. I thought I had to. No, it's you do not have to. That's why I was, yeah, I was just clarifying for you. You can take that card back if you want. I mean, you have to follow the first card, which was a claw. So if right, you have so a if claw... you don't, you can play anything you want. There you go. That's fine. Yep. Okay, so John wins that with the four. Thank you. Switch spots. Jesus. <laughs> okay, John, you're lead. Yeah, the game really accelerates the back half. <laughs> hey, six of cheese. Oh my gosh. I know. Huh. It's brutal. Alrighty then. Okay. Ooh, that's a sword. Yeah, but the two that's of cheese wins cheese it because that's the ultimate trump. It becomes so, a sword. Oh, I forgot about that two of cheese being trumping it. I was like, ha, huh, dang it. <laughs> okay, Jericho, you're lead. Brutal. Yipes. I mean, to be fair, y'all knew what card I had last. Yeah, I know. <laughs> You're playing. Well, <laughs> doesn't make it feel any better. <laughs> I think I mean. Okay, if a little bit of that laugh was over the kid, it was an Animal Crossing rug. <laughs> I don't know if that's one of the things. Animal Crossing rug? I thought you heard Skylar say butt carpet. <laughs> oh, no, we did not hear that whatsoever. <laughs> but now they heard you say it. And now you heard me say it, but like, because it happened right when I unmuted for a second. I was like, oh no, right before Jericho laughed. <laughs> well, no, no, we were laughing because I had said, I mean, to be fair, y'all knew what my other card was. <laughs> oh, fair, yeah. So yeah, your, your uh, turn, Winter. No. Apologies. 
There we go. Okay. There so that's go. Jericho. Okay. I was not expecting to win that one. Thank you. That is the hand. So who did not get cheese? I have a cheese. I have one. I have two cheese. Gets a I did not get cheese. Okay, so Winter gets a thing. Okay, everyone else has cheese. Okay, so now Scamper, Jericho, you Scamper first. I brain farted for a second there. No worries. <laughs> Oh, it God. really does accelerate towards the end, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, it gets crazy. The next hand, we're only going to have three cards, so it's like even worse. The last, <laughs> the last hand is just two. Yep. Which is sorry, nuts. not sorry. <laughs> Claws, huh? Okay. Anybody has a shield, play your shield now if you can. No shield. Okay, anybody, nobody has a shield, then we all get a red fink. So when we get a shield, though. like, if I just drew one... Yeah. Am I able to play that right now? After I just ones? well, that. it the oh, clause doesn't affect you, so you're safe. It's only it affects every other player, right? So, mm -hmm. um, but yeah, if somebody now after you plays an, another attack, you'd be able to use that shield card. Yeah, definitely. Nice. Um, okay. Did everybody get a new red fink, or did you need a new another one winner? I did not grab another one. I was curious. Okay, so go. yeah, that stacks. Yep, yeah, they stack. Okay. Okay, everyone has one. Okay, John, you got one? Okay, so scamper to you, Winter. I saw that you were watching us play Okay, um... Yeah. I'm trying to figure out how many cheese does John have? One? One. I have, I have one outside and then I have five inside. But yeah, your inside stuff's protected, though, so... Yeah, from your things. But I have one outside. Jericho has two outside. Mm -hmm. One outside. Um, I feel like playing this again. Speaking I don't know clean. if that affects okay, that. Anybody protected. have a shield? Okay, I haven't gotten a single so shield all you're game. Protected. Nor have I. Jericho's protected. The rest of us have to discard cheese. On the unprotected part, right? No, I yeah, still have from the, to... Yeah, from the unprotected only, because we all have a thing guarding the other. So I get a new outer fink, though. So, John, you should get an outer fink, too, here. Okay. And Jericho was protected. Okay. And then draw up a new card, Winter. Hmm. Well, this is exciting. I hope you know half of this. I'm just winging. <laughs> You're currently in the lead. Wait, what? You're that <laughs> wait, whoa was perfect. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm gonna play Mission Pantry. I'm real tired. I'm sorry. <laughs> so all all players gain a cheese. So that's gonna get rid of my thing here. You're the best. Thank you. And then I can discard a thing, so that gets rid of my other thing. I can't grab. Because the objective of the game, there. just as a little reminder, is to be the player with the fewest finks, and right now that is you, Jericho. You only have one. Uh, oh. I have none at the moment. He has none. Oh. Uh, well, now that you had discarded. But yeah. in the event that sh that they yeah. are able to um, get rid of their fink, yes, then, then that would be the way with cheese. cheese. Yep. Yep. Um, okay, mm. so that was my scamper. Angie, your scamper. I think I'll have to do this. I'm going to do the payoff. So here's one from here, and then this one will become a four. I mean, yeah, one, two, three. I'll just take this one. What does it say? It says... Give two cheese from your stash to the player on your right. There you go. Huh. <laughs> yeah. That's really funny. Thank you. And then I get to get rid yep. of a fink. Yeah. Which I've desperately needed to do. Guess so, what? Oh, there's that. And now you can draw another <laughs> card. <coughs> I'll do a scurry this time. Okay, it's also pay off. 
<laughs> Trade you. Oh, okay. Wait. Wouldn't that technically... Wouldn't yeah, you should, technically have, go to... you should have two out here. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah. Hmm? Wait. Yeah. I'm confused. We're just trading so, out the. He played, yeah. He played a card that he had to pay two cheese to Angie, and so that's new cheese she gets. So it has to come out to her unstashed section. Uh, and then he was able to get rid yeah. of the fake. Yeah, he was trying to give me the whole five cheese in my un in my protected stash. Yeah. I'm like, wait, I don't think that's. Uh, so we're just get, exchanging tokens. Get a new card, John. Oh yeah. Okay, so now we got to count who has the most unstashed cheese. Jericho has three. Okay. John has one. Angie has two. I have three. So it looks like Jericho and I have to cut. Okay, so to... both of us hit cut the deck. Cut the deck. So Jericho would, would have won that. So since I have the cold deck card in effect, though, I can give the round, winner of the round one cheese. So I will give you one cheese. Mm -hmm. And then I'm dealer for this round. And can I switch this? Uh, yeah. Just do them one at a time into the supply, otherwise it freaks right out. There. And I move my cheese to my stash? Yes. Yep. Get in the I'll thing. Move, I'll move your round tracker for you. You're at three. Thank you. So I get a cheesecake. Stash yeah. the cheese. Oh man, so we're down to three cards, right? That's yep. brutal. Okay. So everybody draw three cards. Go with something new we have not had yet in this game. Low traps for the Trump. And Angie, you are first to scurry since you are left with dealer. Low traps. I'll do a Vacnado. Okay. Where... Yeah, Where whatever in the middle. Card? You can just write oh, yeah, in the yeah, middle. Yeah, yeah. I have a card that keeps on just flipping to always being the back of the card deck, it seems. Oh, this one? If you click F, it flips. Are you clicking F? Yeah, and it just... That's so weird it does that in your hand, because I was able to see it in the... <laughs> Look at this! <laughs> yeah, can you not see that? No, it's just green sandwich. Er, green the, sandwich? Not sandwich, sorry. Ch charcuterie board. The back. I don't know if I'm having a glitch or something. That's the back on both sides for you. Yes. What's the eight of cheese? We see eight of cheese. Yeah. That's oh really well. Bizarre. Would you like to just deal them a new card? Yeah. Yeah. Why don't we just do that? <laughs> Thank that you. Better? There. That can you see that one? That one working? Yes. Oh. Now I can see that one. And Jericho, you should have. You should have another card. You should have three. Uh, deck three. That's my bad. Oh, should I draw another card since I just played? Yes. 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 yes okay. John, you're scurry. Aha! Okay, so he's hedging his bet. So you have to keep the card order low, but you can switch traps to cheese. Yes, so I will. Switch it to low cheese. Okay. Card order higher low. Swap traps. Cheese to traps. I so don't like the sound of the contents. Huh? That makes me nervous. So you can only do the swaps that are shown on the card. So cheese can become traps, and traps can become cheese. Or claws can become swords, or swords can become claws, and you have to keep whatever the current card order is. Okay, and then scurry to you, Jericho. Ah, magician. Nice. 
Mm -hmm. So yeah, just draw three from the top of the deck. And then you get to keep one of those, and then the two others just discard and we'll put them back. Okay. I hope. I hope the Bible is right. I don't know. We'll see. And then draw a new card, either Scurry or Skimper is your choice. Okay, Winter, your chance to scurry, if you wish. Cheese me, please. Nice. There like you go. Aww. And then get a new card. Oh, I did it. Hmm. 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 That was a card. Do I also have to say hmm? We're all saying hmm. hmm. <laughs> Sorry, I'm thinking. <laughs> trick taking games are always a thinky type of game, for sure. I love trick taking. So, yeah, I think you have to because you're the only one who hasn't set up them yet. I'm just <laughs> farting and drawing and. You're not thinking. <laughs> I'm not thinking. Bird. Big brain, no thoughts. Just cheese. I'm, I'm just very smooth brained. <laughs> hey, Angie, your, your lead, and it's low cheese. So, oh, low in right. all suits is good, and cheese is Trump. Let's go with this first. Swords to you, Jericho. I may have messed up then. Ouch. Swords to you, Ooh. Jericho, if you have a sword. That's the only sword I got. Oh. Swords, oh. Winter. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Let's freaking okay, go. John, you win that. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Your lead, John. Uh, hello. To oh, my. Claws. Claws to you, Jericho. Oh, my. Or choose uh, Trump. Choose I Trump think you have an extra have card in your hand there. Huh? Do you have an extra card in your hand there? Oh, somehow. Hmm. I have oh, an extra? Have... Yeah. Yeah, we should have two cards. Maybe one, van maybe one vanished or something when you drew an extra one. Yeah, because yeah, you had originally said that you had drawn three, right? Yeah. So that's weird. Good old tabletop scene there. Love it. Uh... Claws were led. Cheese is Trump. Okay, Angie trumped it. I'll take that. Thank you. Okay. That okay. doesn't bode well for me. What's your lead, Angie? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's bad. Oop. Swords or lead if you got swords. Otherwise, cheese. Or anything else, I guess. The last card. That's all I got. So that's... Thank you. Job. Okay. Let's see. Who did not take anything? That would be Jericho gets a fink. Whoops. The side. I get a fink. Winter had cheese, John had cheese, and Angie had cheese. Okay. Um, and I'm dealer, so left of dealer, and you get to scamper first. Keep in mind, there's only one round after this. I would like to give a think to another player. Let's see. Fascinating. I will give it to you dawson but it's red <laughs> does it just stack no, on it, top of it immediately goes to the red side because it's an attack yeah wow yeah i did not have a shield for that am i able to drop this extra card yeah that... just just yeah just discard it yeah and... oh it's a cheese Ooh. either way i was gonna lose that last round okay um That's i fair. will play um dirty rat uh, one fink. Um, I think you're tied on cheesy. So winter. Right, I'm not gonna worry about that. I'll probably just take from you. Thank you. Oh man, that gives winter another fink. You stealing cheese from me? Yes. Oh. I'm sorry. It was between you and Angie. You are both directly tied. Yeah, you were both tied. So that just kind of shows randomly. Um. Okay. I need, you need a card, John. You took yeah. two? I'm 
Uh, I only took one. Because I can he only was take only one. able to take because one. Because you can because, only pick yeah, because I, I basically crounced that round, so I'm really the only person with cheese. So, you know, that's pretty good. <laughs> oh. Jericho, you're a scamper. Terminator. Seriously? Man. Yikes. Everyone's just piling me up with the things. It's because you're the designer. Yeah, designer apparently. Hate. Designer hate is so real. It's so real. Because they think like that you know the game true. better than them, and it's like, no, that's not how this yeah. works. Yeah. <laughs> you went from being in the lead to not <laughs> in like one round. Yeah. Wait. And on the on, on the how many, how many things did you, did you have, Jericho? I had two. Oh, oh, and one of these was still out on the cheese side, right? No, that one, that one was straight. Oh, that was this one. Okay. So that one is the one I just gave you. Okay. And then draw a new card, and then Winter, it is your turn to scamper. What is the... Um... Go ahead, but I have a question for you, Dawson. There's no more. Oh. oh. Sorry. I what think the... that with... Go ahead. With this, I can steal the three cheese from um, John, right? Because uh, it's out steal... in front. Uh... Well, it's only from an unprotected stash, and nobody has an unprotected stash. Yeah, so... he does. It's outside. John does, right? Yeah, John because does. it's unstashed. John yes, yes, you're correct. The unstashed, yes. So I can steal those three? Yes. Yes. And that gets rid Oops. of your fink here. And then, that gets and then I have to give one of those cheese to someone with no cheese? That is correct. Who has no cheese? I have I no cheese. I have no cheese. I have no, I have no cheese. cheese. Oh, no, I do have I'm losing those. I'm though. currently behind. If I have three fine. finks. So. Yeah, he's currently behind. <laughs> I'm in last place. Okay, so Dawson is in last place and gets a cheese. Thank you. Steal from the rich, give to the poor. <laughs> <laughs> that was the idea behind that card. It's yes, there's I'm like hoping you give it to me. At least two Princess Bride cards in this deck. It's so. the name. No one would yeah. surrender to their dread pirate whiskers. <laughs> what? Very good. And then draw a new card. <laughs> uh, let's see. What am I gonna do? Someone exterminators me. I'm gonna be so upset. I love how you're just spinning the uh, cheesecake over I'm here. I'm trying to put a hypnotizing spell on the whole table to not. How do you do that, anyways? Q and E. Just hold Q or E. Yeah. Q we gotta like hold something counterclockwise, and then E will spin clockwise. Yeah. Yeah. yeah there you go. Yeah. Mine's going so slow though. <laughs> so you're, you have degrees in the top right. I have mine sent to ninety. So yours would go probably. I think yours is set at fifteen at default. Yeah, mine was at fifteen. Yeah. B. Okay, I'm going to play Rat Cycler. Oh dear. Which lets me search through this and get a replacement card of my choice. Oh wow. Wait, huh? In case it's not apparent, I'm one of those persons that like stacks their blocks and makes drawings out of them and stuff, you know. So it's all good. I have my my UFO here. We are uh, <laughs> we're very similar. It's landing on the it's landing on the nuts. Amazing. I like how mine's not even staying with my mouse. <laughs> So what did you choose, Dawson? Uh, I just took a card. Okay. Very nice. Okay. <laughs> I see you. <laughs> not falling for my tricks. <laughs> okay, so, oh, did you not get a replacement card, Angie? You should get a mm, new card. I should get one. Let's take this okay, one. Okay, so who has the most cheese? I have one. Angie has one. Winter has three. Zero. So Winter Dang. is the dealer for the last round. Very so nice. I'm sure you get to grab a cheesecake from the cheesecake pile. Then press E to spin it. <laughs> and 
And we are oh, down. Oh, trade. I don't like key lime. We are down to two cards. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll trade. I'll take key lime all day. You want strawberry? Not this you. Cookies Winner. and cream looks oh. delicious. <laughs> Thank you. That was a lot of work. <laughs> you want to trade with me? Was that the most difficult one to do? I think so, because it's all two D art trying to represent the three D. Like if I had a three D modeling system, it'd be a lot better. Mm. With um, much love, Jericho, you're the green player. Keep your green cheesecake. I like my I Oreo don't cheesecake. Like cheesecake, but I like Oreos. <laughs> Give me the Oreo one. Give me some okay. of my green. So everybody draw two cards. And Winter, you get to pick the trump for the last hand. So tell us what mm -hmm. you want. High or low and what suit? And I'll pull it out. I want high cheese. High cheese. Below one in the wind. High cheese, okay. mama. Okay, so I, oh uh, yeah, so your dealer, let's put that over there to make that clear. So I am first to scurry, but I have no scurry cards. Hmm. Mm. Mm. I mm. guess I will discard two cards. Got dig deep for a shield. I know, right? Mm. Okay. And you're scurry. I'll do cheese cam. And I will pick... John, I want to look at your hand. You got so it. John, hit the drop hand button. Search, Right click and search it, Angie. Oop. Oh, there yep. go my cards. Well, everyone knows it was, now. It was this one, right? Yeah. Oh, I was not paying attention. It was the one right underneath my bear. There. Deal is right underneath search. <laughs> okay, and so this is... So you drag one into your hand and then drag one of yours down to that. Oh my gosh, what happened? Where'd it go? There it is. Um, I feel that trouble, though. There you go. That's fine. That's gonna be like a one-to-one. -one. Yeah, that's great. Alright. <laughs> and then, you probably want a scamper card, I'm guessing, Ange, for the last hand. Yep. So there's no more scurry. That's right. Let's see. Oh my gosh, it's not taking it. Oh, wait. Are there no more? There are no more. Oh, okay. And then, shuffle, shuffle. See, the only cheesecake that I like is the chocolate cheesecake. So that's one that I would want. Let's do this. Oh, I see. I see how it'd be. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm, indeed. Is that revenge for taking your card? No. Okay. So you're flushing Trump. Is that what you're doing, John? Yeah. Okay. So instead of having Trump, we are now currently having no Trump unless somebody changes it. Wait, huh? In, in realistic, uh, it's just the fact that it was my only scurry card. Oh, okay. So. And it's high. So okay. My hand is my hand is pretty trash. So whatever. So you so want to draw a card? See his card what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, he cool. played this uh, great swirl card, which flushes Trump down the toilet. Um, so that means there's now no Trump. So the two of cheese is worthless currently, and the highest card in whatever suit is led is going to win tricks, and there's no special Trump suit. Yeah. So unless somebody plays a card that changes the Trump call, there's no Trump. So can I play that one? Yep. So this goes back in. Say la vie. Shuffle it up. So draw two, and then between those, pick a new one. Is that the one we're going with? Yep. Okay, it's oh, going to be boy. high oh, wow. traps. I discard right here, right? Yeah, that's fine. I got it. Yep. And then uh, you probably want to draw a scamper card to have more scamper choices since there's no more scurry rounds. Does uh, Winter, Winter still need to scurry. stash? Oh yeah, Winter needs to stash. I do have to oh. say, the artwork on this is phenomenal. Stash. Thank you. Yeah. I get to scurry. I found one that represents me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> No, picked up the wrong thing. Not the dealer. Right? <laughs> I want this. Oh, nice. Ah, very nice. Wow. So you get two cards from the top of the deck, and then you'll discard two cards. So basically, it lets you fine tune to get 
your best possible hand right here. There you go. And then discard two. Switch. I see you left out your interesting variant. Oh, I seem to be freezing up yeah. a little bit. Draw two. There we go. And are we still no trump? Uh, no, it's now high traps. High traps. Yep. What a disaster. <laughs> uh. And then I just discard two? All right. Yeah, just uh, discard any two. Obviously, you want to pull in any traps or high cards. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay, so that was the scurry phase. I am left of dealer, so I lead off. That's crazy. Okay, how about the ten of cheese, Ange? I have cheese. Oh, you gotta follow suit. Ah! John, no cheese. That's all I have. Cheese to you, winner, if you have cheese. If you have no cheese, you can play a trap. If you have no trap, then I win it. Yeah. In that order. I have a trap. No. Uh, no, no, no. So Winter gets that. How'd I know that you'd get that winner? Okay, winner. <laughs> I don't know. Lead the last trick, winner. This is it. I don't have yeah. any traps. I got that specifically for you. You're welcome. <laughs> My turn? Yep. All right. Here we go. Queen of Swords. I've got a trap. I have a... Uh... I won it! Woo! Dawson takes it with the trap! Wow! The last trick of the game. Okay. The last who gets, trick. Who gets Fink? Angie gets a Fink. I get a Fink. I get a Fink. Gets a fink. Oh, gets do a fink. I get to draw a um, scamper because yes. of. Yes, yes, yes. Draw a scamper winner. Okay. Okay, nice. and now I am first to scamper. It's funny, I got two Finks. Okay, I'm gonna play up and smoke, which lets me choose to either discard two cheese and one thing, or three cheese and two things. So I'm going to oh, wow. pay three cheese and discard two things. Okay, here you go, Ange. I will do, say, cheese, which allows me What's to that? one cheese here, which gets rid of my thing, mm -hmm. and uh, I'll take this one from you, which gives Ooh. you a thing. Nice. Wow. Well played. Thank you. <laughs> um, I will also play up in smoke. Oh, wow. Discard three cheese. Discard two things. Um, I have... Do I start from orange or do I go from red to orange? You can choose. Oh. How could I get an orange one back theoretically? Um, only if something happens where, yeah. yeah. So we're, we get rid of. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Okay, Jericho, your last scamper of the game. I had a question about okay, this Okay, sure. Can someone explain this one to me, because I am not yes. comprehending it. Okay, so we'll reveal the top card of the deck, and then you hit the cut the deck button. If the cut card that you cut matches the suit of the top card, or it's a higher rank, then you get to choose to either gain three cheese or discard two things. Wow. Otherwise, otherwise you lose three cheese out of your stash. But it could possibly oh. get you Ooh. three cheese. High so risk, you high do that? reward. Yeah. yeah. I'll go ahead and do that. Oh, let's, we gotta put all these oh, cards wow. back, so we'll shuffle the deck. If you, get it, if you get it, you win, I think. Okay, so here's the top card of the deck. Is the Ten of Claws. So now hit the cut the deck. Uh, no, it did not match, and it is not higher. So instead you lose three cheese. But that's a pretty good card. If that would have paid off, that would have gotten rid of two feints. Yeah. Uh, someone give me two, because that only has two. Okay. One... Two. 
Alright, and then I think it's my turn to scamper? Yep. yep, and you are the last to scamper. And I'm gonna firecracker, and I wanna get rid of one fink. Okay. Oh, wow. So, take that goo. Yep. Oh. One, two, three, four. Oh, there's three on this. All of yours were stacked together. Yeah. You can okay. opt for a wheel if you have five. I suppose I should do that, huh? Somebody want to help me clean it up? <laughs> Here, I'll do it. One, two. I have a hard time getting three, it to zoom in and out a little. <laughs> four, five. Okay, there you go. Thank okay, you. Is that better? Okay, then go ahead and stash for the last end here, and then we count stuff up. Let me pull up my... Winter has no things. Winter has no things. Did winter pull <gasps> up the wind? Wow. That's awesome. Hey! Rat pick plays. How'd I have two? Oh. Well, the last round you had a fink and then you couldn't get a cheese, so your fink stayed here and then it flipped over. And then you had one from the rest of the game. Okay, so I had uh, one fink. One thing. I had zero cheese, and I had one cheesecake. Okay, Angie, you had one thing. Is that right? Or... That is one thing. Yes. One thing. One thing. And fink. six cheese. Six oh, cheese. Oh no. Eight. How much? Eight. Eight, eight cheese. Eight cheese. Okay. And no and no cheesecake. No cheesecake. Okay, John, what did you have? One, one thing. One cheese. Two cheesecake. Okay, and Jericho, what did you end up with? Two, two things, a cheesecake, and 14 cheese. Whoa. That's a lot of cheese. That is a lot of cheese. So and much Winter cheese. had cheese. Winter got away with zero things, and how much cheese? Looks like Three, seven eight, cheese and a eight, cheesecake. Eight cheese? Oh, eight. Eight, eight cheese and a and cheesecake. One cheesecake for the win. Very good. Awesome. Thanks. Like, track all that stuff so it helps us. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so that is Rapfic. So any feedback oh. from you guys? Uh, did everyone have fun playing? I, I had fun playing. So this was a very um, it was a fun game because it it kept uh, it kept changing like who I was targeting, and then at the end of the day, it was actually Winter who was able to get rid of all of their yeah. things. I like how um, like the majority of that like I was in the lead, and then at the last couple rounds, it was like nope. Yeah. Unexpected. Mm. Yeah, I thought Dawson was going to kind of run away with it, and it was nice to see that, that 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 didn't happen. My only thing I would say is, I think on the ace, you might just have players that forget that ace is high and not low, because um, I forgot about it sometimes, so I would just put like a little indicator on there, but other than that, that's all I got for you, unfortunately. Uh, if you're looking for anything else, I mean, you made too good of a game. <laughs> I love the art. <laughs> yeah, the art's Thank amazing. You. Thank you. I'm getting distracted by spinning cheesecake. <laughs> um, I would love to play with the variants with you sometime. I see like the different. Oh yeah, so and... um, we also have the jokers. If you include the jokers in the game, they add some more craziness. Uh, so the way they work is the the piper is higher than the juggler, which is higher than the two of cheese. So they're like additional ultimate trump cards that get tossed in. Um, so they, they take they act the same way as the two of cheese. So they become whatever the trump suit is. Again, if there's no trump suit, they're basically worthless. Other than they're they go in that order. Um, and also the piper then steals a piece of cheese uh, from the player on your right. And the juggler makes everybody discard the remaining hand and draw new cards to finish out the hand. So it really messes up the hand. Um, so yeah, they add some more chaos to the game. So they're there for people that are into adding more chaos. Chaos. Um, Next time. Make and then the, the, the four maze cards, uh, we, played with the, we played with the default, which is uh, the high cheese card here. Uh, but if you notice, they're all they're high and low on both sides. So they're, they match what the trump options are. So you can also, when you shuffle the trump deck, you can pick your first card and then use that maze if you want. So there's a corresponding maze card for every trump option, high, low, and for each of the four suits. And they significantly changed the gameplay, actually. We mm -hmm. played several of these. So the the low cheese option, you start at two cards each and build all the way up to seven. 
which is very different because you start out early with everybody getting a bunch of Finks, but then you have more time to kind of get rid of them as you progress through the game because then you get more cards. Right, um, right. Um, and then some of these other ones just also this just looks... do some crazy play changes. So like this uh, one, what is this one? So this is based on player count, so it keeps the deal oh. much more flat. Um, so we would have been... people that want more of the trick-taking to be more important gotcha. versus the chaos element. That's um, cool. Same it's with so this weird. one that stays at more of a higher deal. It does go down a little bit, but then goes back up at the end. So it goes 6-5 on this? Yeah. 6-5, six, 6-5. Five, six, five, oh, yeah. Okay. okay, that's cool. Um, that's probably how then, I play. Uh, this, the purple one, the swords one, is for like two-player variant to have a quicker two-player. Like I want to play at lunch and not take as long to play with two players. Nice. Um, nice. Love that. Yeah. So, yeah, they definitely change it up depending on which maze card you're playing with. Um, yeah. So many games played in the lunchroom. <laughs> right. Cafeteria. <laughs> that being said, the um, runtime for this stream was two hours and 20 minutes, um, but it does say 30 to 60 minutes. I will say that it's probably because of a tabletop simulator task. Yeah, that so definitely adds playing, quite a bit. Yeah. Um, anytime we're playing on the digital version, which if you're um, a follower of Shenanigans, it's me. Um, and we play a lot of digital games. Um, we're going to end up increasing the time of the gameplay, but that is not true to form with the physical. I'm pretty sure, like looking at cards secretly, like that, for instance, took like three times longer than it yeah. in, in real life. <laughs> um, <laughs> also, you gotta so, counter in the teach. Yeah, the teaching so. time. Yeah. So there was the whole um, how to session with uh, Dawson and the other designers. So just uh you know factor that into it so i would say that this is still pretty uh accurate plus we were playing with a five person game yeah yes five person game so and we have played with six and it is crazy fun chaos but it's definitely better when everybody knows how to play the game already otherwise it doesn't take right. long, longer um yeah and for this particular game too there were um players who were unfamiliar with trick taking so we had to add that tutorial as well to it. Um, but I really like that you can kind of like alter like how long or how short you want your games to be based off of which mazes you uh, you choose. Yeah, that is cool. Great game, Dawson. Thank you. Thank you. I really appreciate everyone taking the time to play tonight. It was a lot of yeah. fun. Oh, thank you for having me. Thank you for coming on board and uh, sharing your, you know, your it's it's clear that there was a lot of love put into this game that you've designed. So it's a pleasure. <laughs> and we are, we are working here. on two other rat fink games. They're completely different gameplay. Um, one is a co-op, uh, dice game Ooh. with, mm. with tile laying where you're uh -huh. trying to discover a path through a maze and escape from a cat who is also chasing you down in the maze at the same time. Um, love that. that's a lot of fun. And then the other one we're working on is a new card game, but it's a totally different card game. It is not a trick taking game. Uh, but it does use some of the same Ratfink elements. It has the Fink tokens and cheese. Uh, but uh, that's one we're currently getting up on TTS for playtesting. So if anyone's interested, we will be looking for some playtesters for that soon, too. So, Are we going to see if we can flip the table? <laughs> if that button was locked or not? I don't think it's... I don't think you can. Or are we going to play another round? Because or... <laughs> I'm down for another round. <laughs> Oh, I, I, I have to go right tomorrow. now, but I'd, I'd be happy to play another game some other time if, if everyone wants to schedule one. So. Yes, yeah. that is that is what I was going to say. Uh, Dawson is in the server, so anyone who is on uh, the Shenanigan server, uh, feel free to like tag me or my moderators or Dawson. Um, yeah, and we can arrange something um, outside of uh, stream time if you'd like. Yeah, we will be releasing the mod on Tabletop Simulator a little bit later once we get the rulebook oh, nice. finished, um, but it's not ready yet. So for now, I just run games. But uh, yeah, let me know anytime if somebody wants to show this to somebody else. I'd be happy to jump on and run a game. So just let me know. The kids in my life also love the art and said that it looks really cool. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you. That's great to hear. They were really enjoying watching this. <laughs> <laughs> It's yeah, here. It's going to be a series too. I so think it's like the youngest player we played ends. this with was was eight at one of the cons, and they picked up the strategy really fast, and they were killing everybody at it. So, yeah. 
All right. Cool. So does anyone in chat have any uh, comments or questions? Um, otherwise, this will be goodbye. Um, we do have David coming in from chat saying home from work. Hope the game went well. I think so. I think it went really, really well. Winter's excited for the win. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> He's like, woo, yeah. <laughs> I did win. Woo. Thanks, John. I really appreciate you joining us like totally last minute too. So he yeah. like hopped on this afternoon, like didn't even know about it. So yeah, no problem. Um, yeah, I'm always looking to play test games and whatever. Yeah, so. yeah. Um, our server's full of people who love board games and play test. So if you also yeah. want to hop in on any of those, feel free to let us know I as well, John. Will. Yeah, absolutely. Will. It'll be my pleasure. Sure, for sure. We've got a nice job, Winter, in chat. Woo! Thank you, David. Congrats. All right, any final comments from voice chat? Uh, Bye. It was a great game. See you really next week. Thank you. Thank Same. you. I appreciate nice it. Yeah. You all. <laughs> Thanks, everybody, <laughs> for stealing all the cheese. <laughs> Bye. 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 I got a bounce ball.